Hello. 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 <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to We Are All Doing Great. Um. <laughs> Welcome to We Are Very Professional. <laughs> Welcome to We Know What We Are Doing, and we are here to serve you. <laughs> Please don't look at this picture for the love of God. Um, <laughs> do, that. do that right now. Right <laughs> now. This is why I'm, I'm dead. Um, but hello. I hope you are all doing very well. <laughs> I've already just lost my shit twice today. And you know what? That's... It's it's the mood, it's the vibe for today. Oh my god, okay. Hi, welcome back to Tales of the Torn Veil. Ow, ow! Um, <laughs> it is so lovely to have you if you're here. At the beginning, we're going to introduce all our players, all our player characters. We're going to do a little itty bitty recap of what happened last time. And then we're going to say hi to you all. So if you're lurking and you want us to say hi to you, now is your time. Because then we will be in <clears throat> ignoring immersion mode. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, for, for today's order, I'm going to need everyone to guess a number between 1 and 20. For an amount of, of something. And depending on what you pick, that will determine the order to which we introduce you all. The stakes again just higher. Think of them, or do we tell you out loud? It's up, that's up to you. You can say oh. it out loud. Twenty. <clears throat> Fourteen. It was ten. Hang on. Got L. <laughs> ten. B. Fourteen. Okay. Lure and Tarquin. Five. Five. Give me one. Whoa. Whoa. One dollar. One thing. <laughs> one <laughs> one Minutes thing to live. about you. Turn it so into a song. The question now is am I going to go in order of closest or furthest away? Guess mm. we'll never know, but what I do know is that starting off off the day is nice. Nye. And their lovely character, Eloro. Hello, Nye. Hello. <laughs> it's so very nice to see you all today. <laughs> you too, my friend. <laughs> I play Eloro, a non binary half elf druid. <laughs> and uh, she likes cats. Yes. yes. <laughs> what is what is today? What is happening? I'm actually I'm just a little pretending scared to be now. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say you're doing a phenomenal job. Oh, thank you, darling. I feel very cold out. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, next up, we're gonna go with. The one, the only, uh, who are you again? It's Tarquin and Dario and Audio. Not to be mistaken for Dario. We don't yes, talk about I... Dario. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dario and I'm the good one. The, the bad one is Dario, but he's not welcome here anymore. So don't worry, you're all safe. I'm the good twin. And I play the part of Tarquin, who is, you know, your charismatic and always famous monk, who now has a very very pretty cloak that he's planning on using. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure it will thwart all of my plans at some time. Just oh, yeah. Somehow, just entirely. Wonderful. I will do my best. <laughs> I hope you will. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go with Ludo. Hello, Ludo and JC. Oh, hey, sorry guys, I just came over from my friend Dario's house. We were just making some plans to take down some uh, certain enemies of ours. But uh, yeah, yeah, hey, uh, it's me, JC, aka Carlin Audio. Uh, I play Ludo, the big lovable chef, and I certainly am not planning anything against anybody with my friend Dario, so don't worry about it. 
Burn them bastard. all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. And lastly, but by no means leastly, we have Buffon and the wonderful Dime Package. How you doing, Fui? Hi, my name is Dime Package. I currently have Chaos locked up in my basement where I am slowly torturing them. <laughs> uh, I got to say one thing about this picture for anybody who's seen this announcement. Forget about friends. I never noticed this guy on the left who looks like he has his face smashed in. But anyways... <laughs> It's weird. He's got like a whole weird convex curve face. face. Yeah, looks like like yeah. The old McDonald's mascot, Mac, the Moon guy. Oh my God, <laughs> face is Mac like... the Moon guy. <laughs> Mac, Mac the Moon guy is one of those things in my life where, having discovered, oh, having not discovered him, I didn't like unearth him from the ground, but having found out about Mac Thank like you. a year ago, <laughs> it, it's it's been haunting me ever since. The number of references you pick up on about Mark is like, wow, just everywhere. Um, oh, I got—I forgot the real good one you're kind of connected to, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, love chaos, love the song "One Thing," and most of all, love hanging out with this group and playing "Beef on This Tales." Woo! <laughs> we love, we love. What an amazing cast of players, you guys! And you can check them all out at their respective links. Which may appear during the stream in chat. If not, they're all on the Twitter links, and if not, they're all on the vods. And if you're if you're here from the vods, we do see you, and you're not saying hi. And like, is it something we've done? <laughs> like, because <laughs> we love you. You're probably just skipping over this part, so you're lost, honestly. Um, but if you're here, hi. Um, and um, hi, Anki. <laughs> I am a uh, cat wrangler in many senses of the words currently, uh, away from my usual setup while I am cat sitting. So if you hear jingle jangles and meows and pathetic hissing, no, you don't. Um, if it sounds as if um, <laughs> as if Jumanji is happening in the house, aka there's a just a smorgasbord of zoo animals uh, stampeding upstairs, uh, no, they're not. It's just two Norwegian forest cats. Um, but it sure feels like it sometimes. <laughs> um, and I will be presenting the story to you guys um, and leading things as they go along, enabling our wonderful players and hopefully in turn being enabled by them. That's what we're here for. Um, and yes, it is so lovely to have you guys here. Ow, ow. Um, give yourselves an hour, hour. <laughs> And saying hello to everyone today, we have Zombie V, hello. We have Rihanna, hello, hello. Epic Game Jams, hello. I what? That is the right reaction to the stream. Uh, no. <laughs> this, I don't know, I, I don't mean to laugh at this username. It's just, it's, it's, it's in a place. Um, no father peepee -pee face. Uh, welcome in. I love how you were immediately like, here's my number. So hey, is, no is a valid face. guess. <laughs> it's a great name. Pam <laughs> uh, Town, hello. Crystal, I hope you enjoy your lurks. We see you, we love you. Uh, Kim Carter, hello. Hello, hello. Vividly, hello. And hello to you as well. If you're looking or looking and working, we appreciate you. And... Yeah, we're gonna have good times today, even if my um, laptop is turning into a jet engine and taking off as we speak. Holy cannolis, Batman! That's a lot of bitties! That's better than last e. week's, I feel like. Holy heck, thank you so much, Zombie V! V's like, you, thank you, B. You guys revived my character, keep her alive now, okay? <laughs> thank you, V! <laughs> thank you so much, V! And yes, if you support the stream, um, any biddies you send will go uh, betwixt all of our, I know words, uh, will go betwixt um, our players today uh, and myself included in that. And uh, if you want to support the project on a bigger level, um, which then gets kind of turned back into this project and into other projects as part of the universe, you can check out our Kofi page. And with the Kofi page, you can get some neat rewards like 
early access to music, early access to things you can use in your own D&D games, like my terrible... Hello? The regular wonderful supporters don't get to see... Are we here? Am I here? I'm here. Yeah, Hello. Good. Hey, are you just saying oh, just just being friendly? I just, <laughs> just missed like, you. Hey, I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much how we start every call for the week. Um, but yes, you can support the coffee there and um, get yourself some cool rewards and have some in have some characters in the world that are yours that that we make friends with or accidentally kill or both. You never know. Um, and yes, the only other thing is that today we'll be working slightly different. We're going to try doing three ten-minute breaks as opposed to two slightly longer breaks. So that is a thing we are trying. Do not be alarmed. <laughs> Do not adjust your TV sets. Um, yeah. Cool. React peace sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your favorite uh, creature performer was the moon man it's doug jones that's what the connection was <laughs> that's right my connection to doug jones is it's like is one really... of his earliest bits <laughs> yeah my connection to doug jones is actually really crazy um like uh <laughs> i couldn't keep the bit up i was like i i can't take myself seriously when i'm joking uh i do have him on linkedin though <laughs> <laughs> i remember being really excited about that when it happened <laughs> It's so dumb though. Um, but we are big fans. Look, if you're watching. Uh, it's probably not, but you never know. You never, I've done that once before and the person was watching, it was weird. Um, anyway, it's like last week when we uh, <laughs> cast a in-game demonic ritual and then uh, someone's doorbell went off. That was great. Love that. <laughs> Hasn't been haunting me at all. Um, <laughs> but yes, on that note, unless there is any more important news or, or some some such we love you doug we know where you're watching <laughs> we love you doug Jones. we know you're an avid fan <laughs> he's he's checking he's like who's this on my linkedin and then clicks on the twitter page and it's like oh shit that looks cool <laughs> it just goes in keep saying i'm always surprised by how many people tell me they listen so you never know. You never know, right? <laughs> and at the very least, oh, we made you. everyone named Doug feel very special for a moment. Yeah, which Doug? I think hey. it's very special. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's take a moment for Doug, right? All the Dougs. Every oh, Doug. Yeah. But you, Doug, you, the one listening, you? Especially that one? You. Yeah. Especially you, mm -hmm. Doug. We see you. And on that note, <laughs> we shall... <coughs> Pardon me. We shall scramble. Where is my music? <laughs> and attempt to begin today's session. Now I paused you, music. Don't even stop fighting me. I, I do love this site, but it's also very argumentative when you want to pause the music. <laughs> All right. Let us begin. I've lost my introduction. There it is. Four adventurers, all unacquainted, all bound by fate, it would seem. They've spent but mere days in the floating city of Ashsky for the ceremonial festival of the hunt, a sacred activity organized for the unlikely union of a prince of Ashsky and the lady of the Corsicals. Having faced battles proving their might, metal, and meanings, their ultimate challenge came not at the final task, but the surprise attack that wrought chaos out of nowhere. Thankfully, all who could be saved were, but the day didn't go without fatalities. The time for leaving, however, was drawing near, but not before a discovery. One that dictated that the veil holding our world in safekeeping had indeed been broken. Sometimes word just decides we're just gonna scroll. Screw. With this, 
came an offer from the esteemed Guildhall Masters of Ninut, an, a mountainous town with leading experts in hunting and the arcane, respectively. Aid them within a new alliance, the Espers, a group with the supposedly divine task of finding those who'd taken from the world's arcane veins and attempted ascension to godhood themselves, from our world or from others, by way of the now ripped veil. These are otherwise known as altars, as we know them. The four now find themselves inextricably connected, and seemingly crucial to a mission that could save the world of Isifrae, young as the history may be. But first, a feast of the hunt, celebrating the victories of the team so far, and the consequences of having taken a slightly <laughs> very poisonous flower. At least for one of our party members. But with that, we hope you'll join in with our theatre of the mind, embrace the narrative, embrace our characters and our story, and join us as we continue with Tales of the Torn Veil. Music came through for me there. Thank you, music. I appreciate you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yay! That's been your recap. Um, so, where we left off, <laughs> the group is currently uh, attending the uh, Feast of Heroes after the Festival of the Hunt. And in general, um, it can be said that the majority of the team um, <laughs> uh, were able to concoct an incredible multi-course meal um, of varying different monsters that were caught and battled throughout the trials themselves. Um, uh, with, the with, the, with the exception of uh, L dear Ludo Beani, who decided that um, a pink flower of a very toxic kind might be worth, you know, experimenting with uh, just before cooking. <laughs> um, though he survived, which in itself is a grand feat that should not be ignored, <laughs> um, the consequences left him somewhat uh, preoccupied, uh, distracted, um, otherwise experiencing uh, hallucinogenic visions of um, s severe kinds. Thankfully, there was uh, a friend nearby, or more specifically, friends nearby, hey. who helped to puppeteer Ludo. Pat Pat Patatouille style. And together, the entire group crafted this wondrous meal. As it, the members of the team uh, sat down with their esteemed dinner guests, including royalty, unfortunately, the effects of the flower uh, took one last hurrah as Ludo Bayani falls asleep at the table. <laughs> Almost instantaneously, which it is safe to say everybody at the table sees. What would you like to do? Sleep. You um you you all see you all see kind of um you've got the usual suspects there so Umbali is there obviously um, friends is there in a little um in his little hat with a little chef's hat on top um and <laughs> uh, you have uh, not devil man uh, Riordan the red tiefling man from before you have the lady Morena. Um, the bronze, uh, very metallic skinned elf, who is the princess of the Corsicals. You have uh, Wilbur Firenze, who is the 
Prince of Ash Sky, who has just been betrothed uh, to dear Marina. Uh, and Fenella just say, all looking fairly concerned at um, Luto's sudden unconsciousness. Whoa. It, is, is he all right? Well, we've been cooking quite a lot, so he's very tired. I mean, come on, look at this. It's so many food in the table. He he really outdid himself, but I think we should try to wake him up so that he can eat as well. Uh, how does one wake up a chef man that has very clearly put a lot of himself into his cooking and a lot of his friend? Um... For those who missed it last week, um, all of these dishes are in somewhat friends shaped and or based. So, <laughs> so uh, some look like avant-garde outlines and portraits of friends. One resembles a triptych of the scene where uh, the group built <laughs> the, um, por the pork cutlass, if you will, the pork cutlass um, of sausages. And uh, surrounded by his fathers, he, in that moment, saw God. Um, and other various such depictions of their adventures so far uh, within these pretty amazing meals, must be said. Hmm. Uh, I have an see... idea, DM. Mm. Yeah, I'm yes. going to need your help. Oh! Uh, what Say is less. <laughs> Queen's name again? Mirena. Mirena. Okay. Um, Put the would you allow me well. to roll an insight check to see if I can recall the smell of Umbrella's perfume? Mm. Um, yeah, because she's not there right now um she went to stay with octal for a bit uh yeah i don't know an insight or a history exceptions uh, check. History. I, ah, history you know what better. you know what tell um what triggers this we're getting deep we're getting we're getting oh, again oh, oh, tutorial oh, island go. is ending we're getting deep here so would Bifon's memories be more triggered by um, verbal or aesthetic components, or more so by other sensory components? In your mind. So, so aesthetic or everything else? <laughs> <laughs> well, which, which direction generally would would he aesthetic. go towards? Aesthetic. Yeah, roll a uh, a history. Yeah, roll a history check for me, please. He's he's a nature bro. Yeah. Mm, oh yeah. Nine. Ah. Almost a twenty. It's something sweet. Um, you've <laughs> in your profession before adventuring, you've smelt a lot of smells like it. That's true. Um, and as you're trying to kind of recall the exact scent you're just kind of your brain is awash with all of these other very similar scents of mm -hmm. somewhat similar women and men and folk Aww. <laughs> even one bear like that bear smell kind of insane <laughs> yeah. so sweet almost like <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. all right um my bad what was her name again Mirena. Lorena. Oh, you're Reina? May, <clears throat> may I take Morena aside and ask to see all of her perfumes and such? Yeah, you certainly can. Um, you kind of beckon her away from the table. And she has literally taken one mouthful of the uh, first course and like, mm. uh, Yes, how can I uh, help you before? Yeah, I was hoping you could do me a favor. Uh, there was a bit of a situation going on here uh might have a way to solve it um 
Should we go to your room and maybe see your collection of perfumes and scents and such? Not the request, but not the strangest I've had. We can go quickly. <laughs> Thank you very much. He wants um, use that line. <laughs> yeah, girl, let me see them perfume. Let me see them perfume. I'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you and Beef on Light, you, you and Will be like, aren't really, really like, like it's a political thing, right? It's not like a love thing, right? <laughs> 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 She's gonna, oh shit. She knows, she knows, she knows her smells. So you head up to um, the master bedroom. One of the master bedrooms, and you see it's it's um, kind of got one of the best views of the uh, kind of inner atrium uh, greenhouse with all the tropical plants um, that stretches pretty much up to the to the um, top floor of the palace, and uh, and um, it's pretty. You kind of pictured it being a lot more royal feeling, kind of darker colours, more elegant, and it, while still elegant, it's very bright. Like, it feels almost more like, um, very elevated beach house vibes. <laughs> like, it's very natural. Mm. It feels like it's got a wide open balcony looking over, um, the ocean. Like, there's a gorgeous breeze, there's loads of fabrics catching on the wind. Um, the ceiling's high? Very, yes. Sweet. It's good. Oh, it's good shit. It's good shit. Um, very much kind of a golden bronze, um, warm, almost bluish green and white um, color scheme, and just silken textural fabric. Yas, realness, queen, slay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and uh, you see, she opens up this kind of mirrored. Uh, wardrobe and sliding out of it comes this little desk almost like an apothecary set of drawers um, and just all little tiny minuscule vials of very concentrated scents uh, what kind of scent are you looking for? Mm. you decorate all this? Oh, I wish. <laughs> Just some of the concepts. Um, they have some pretty good designers here. But I would like to bring more of my home here. You know? Very nice. So, um, exactly what did I zone in on with my nine roll? Mm, kind of sweet, sweet. And a bit... A bit um, I don't want to say like pheromony, but a little a little <laughs> musk to it. Like there's a little ah yeah, a little oh, human body stank to it. Good yeah, stuff. love me some. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is why I'm saying quite familiar to be fun. <laughs> Fairly uh, familiar to be fun. Something sweet but musky. You know what is I mean. Is this for someone in particular? May I ask? Starts Have rifling you? Through the drawers. <clears throat> um, I'm sure you guys have met, but you remember Umberlai? Ah, <laughs> she snaps her fingers, immediately opens, like, um, the top layer third drawer, rifles in the back, <laughs> finds a small pink vial, um, that has, like, a split layer, like an emulsified layer of, um, mm. like a vanilla color, like a French vanilla color on the top, and she Ooh. shakes it, and pops the tiny, tiniest cork off and smells it and just kind of very gently wafts it underneath your nose. Yep, yeah, that's the one. That's it. Mm. No roll needed. This bitch knew. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were the person to ask. Mm. My pleasure. So you think this will wake big guy up? Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> I have a feeling it's... Going to be very shocking for him. Uh, we're probably going to want to put something behind him after he falls down. <laughs> hmm. That is a good point. I'll uh, see if I can find someone to bring something in for us. Meanwhile, Madam, you have been a great help, yes? Of course. She pulls out a little kind of circular um, 
like colored flask, like very deep, but not super saturated blue violet color. And uh, with a little kind of gold twisty lid uh, and a tiny label that just has some something scrawled on it in very cursive handwriting and hands it to you. I think that will suit you very well. DM? Yeah. I, I, I would like to do an insight check. What, what the hell is this? Should I recognize this? Um, <clears throat> roll an insight check at Did... advantage. Mm, she, what is she doing? Uh, 23. Don't think I need that advantage. Yeah, she just found a scent she thinks will really just pop off for you. Oh. She's hooking you up with Gucci. Um, Thank and with, you very with, a t with a 23, much. with a 23, you know exactly what this is. Um, this is Moon Lily number three. This thing is fancy. This is fancy. Like a tiny, like this vial is like the size of a human thumbnail. Like it is tiny, but you don't, you don't need any of it. Like just, it, it, uh. it. Just, it's so concentrated. It's so pure. Um, I love sense with a number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, again, it's it's got a bit of that musk. And it's got the layers. It's got the gentle overtones. And then this very subtle undertone that comes through and just pulls up at the end to give it this rich boost of kind of very floral, but very... Um, not like what's the word not like acrid sweet but it's mm. just a very gentle like just whiskey and good, vanilla good. pods and like wine it too sweet. And just real yeah real and, oh my. Yeah. and not only Thank does you. it make you smell incredible it enhances your natural aroma mm, musk so while you have that equipped, um, if you dab, dab a bit on yourself, because that is all you need and that is all that can, it, it can afford, um, you will get a plus 220 charisma, see, uh, charisma rolls. Nice. Not charisma saves, different. Love yeah. it. Yeah. That, that's perfect. Um, thank you very much. Wow. Of um, course. If there is anything at all that I can do for you, do not hesitate to ask. Mm, pass on That's the good thing. a wonderful gift. <laughs> I shall. Right, let this go and uh, reawaken your friend, shall we? After you, my lady. Thank you. So, what profession did you herald before this adventure, then? Oh, I... Used to be an adventurer um, until I took on um, entertaining, mm. so to speak. My good tell you have you have that glint in your eye and that astuteness for people. I like to show people a good time. Life's far too short to be mired in misery. Mm. Well, the meal proves that, if nothing else. Definitely mm. a good time. Um... You know what, I'm gonna keep that to myself. But as I said, anything you wish, just ask and I'll be right there. Wonderful. I might uh, take you up on that offer. With your 23, like, just continuing on, you can see she's she's in a in a non-romantic way. She's got your number, you've got hers. You've both kind of got each mm -hmm. other sussed out. And it's mm -hmm. but it's kind of comforting to know that you're both just trying to do good stuff and, you know. Yeah. Entertainment and the good stuff in life I've sometimes. Been around plenty members of court and royals and stuff like that. I could tell she was a decent one. Mm-hmm. She's a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> 23 good egg <laughs> this D&D &D in a nutshell right but you both make your way down she grabs um, some 
slightly more plush blankets. It's happening. Tarquin, do me a favor. I want to stand behind Ludo and prepare. <laughs> All right. I got you. Marina puts the blankets behind him as well. <laughs> puts one in front as well, just in case. And I... Um, open up the vial and just put it put it above um, of Ludo's lip. Just let a little bit of the scent get to him. Maybe dab a little on the top there, and then Ludo, I close it up and wait. You're where you've been hallucinating quite heavily for the past few hours. <laughs> <laughs> When your unconsciousness comes, it comes with a very calming, soothing darkness. Like being in a dark room with a blindfold on, listening to whatever white noise pleases you, and just... Just flatline. Brain flatline. <laughs> Good times. As you're... I mean, maybe you'll be able to help me with this. Um, if you were to start dreaming... Of dearest Umberlie, what would what would Lu what would Luto see in his in his dreams? <laughs> uh, billowing silken khaki and pink cloths surround mm. us on a mm -hmm. a field of clouds. <laughs> we are sat upon circular cushions of the finest silks. <laughs> I am dressed like a Greek god. Wearing barely a toga, as is she. <laughs> mm. And though we are still, it is as though there is a constant calming wave causing us to billow and for uh, bits and pieces to be revealed and unrevealed again and again in the undulation of the fabrics. <laughs> and uh, as the smell enters uh, Ludo's uh, nasal capacitors <laughs> uh, nice a, a slow smile spreads across his face and he extends his long strong arms around oh thank god around her <laughs> happy valentine's begins to, day begins to pull her in saying one more time okay come here baby <laughs> and he goes in As for the kiss as you go for the kiss, you taste a sweet consomme on your lips. Is that, is that Wogan on? Ooh, that tastes really good. Why is it, it's all over your, the kiss is your entire face. That, what is that smell? Oh God, there are lights on, people are watching. And you come <laughs> to, um, do you fall forwards or backwards? I'll let you decide. Uh, I'll let the <laughs> dice decide, let's see. Hey. <laughs> uh, one, two, forward, three, four, backwards. I fall backwards. Hey, Targrim. <laughs> uh, can I do a Constitution save? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're probably gonna have to. The, we'll go for a Dex first. We dex, are. Okay. <laughs> we'll give you a chance. <laughs> it's he's he's just been in the very light, gentle. Flowing khaki and pink dream. <laughs> He's still floating <laughs> slightly. <laughs> I got a dirty 20. <laughs> yeah. Nice. 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 Dirty, dirty 20. 20. <laughs> 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 Missed that so much. Um, I'd be like, if I said I will that, help to make sure he it. comes down gently. <laughs> well, Tark's got it. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, <laughs> you, you both cradle him gently. Ludo, you feel comforted once again as you feel yourself floating backwards except I'm... there's no pink and khaki anymore there's just ceiling in your friends and also what friends. level of hallucination remains is there a None? hangover or am i feeling fine you <sighs> roll a constitution saving throw for me all right look at this mighty plus one Oh my god, I did it again! I technically rolled three ones in a row. 
No, you didn't. <laughs> Whoa. Well, because the last thing, last time I rolled was two ones. <laughs> and now this is my next roll since then. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's the curse of the pink flower. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I hate my brain sometimes. Yeah, I love your brain. <clears throat> so, as you are um, cajoled back into your seat, <laughs> you see across from you, um, dead across from you, not literally dead, but straight across from you, you see a blonde, very attractive woman. Mm. He's wearing pink. I know who that is. <laughs> yes, you do. It is Umbralite. It is a hundred thousand percent Umbralite. She just talks a bit funny today. Um, the rest of you will know that to be Fene. Um, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh baby, just... there you are. And I start crawling on all fours across the table towards her. No, 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 mm -mm, no. She's she's gonna cast command on you. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Stop. Wisdom save. Uh, if you're <laughs> if you're trying to fight it, yeah. I guess I wouldn't. I guess maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm used to having command cast on. <laughs> Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I will leave that up to you, dear player. <laughs> That's just gonna make it worse. Oh, God. This is my kind of session. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even got to the scheduled chaos yet. Right, well, that seems to have answered some questions and created some more. Um, let's eat, shall we? Um, thank you all once again uh, for your incredible meal, friends. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. Um, uh, Ludo, hello, Tarquin, Bivon, friends. <laughs> thank you all very much for the meal. Um, Wilbur kind of Anytime nods Santa and... Claus. <laughs> Claus. Beefon's gonna tie a bib around Ludo and put uh, <laughs> two spoons in both hands because no forks and knives for this guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make him a plate. <laughs> oh, that's low. Oh. That's not <laughs> <laughs> Um... And the, the meal, up. the meal continues. The dishes keep uh, being served as the night goes along. Um, unless there's anything else of import, um, the only other kind of considerable thing that occurs um, is as the as the wine is flowing and the good times are going, and Fene is keeping a very bombastic side eye on Ludo <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> um, she, to the others, it does seem like she's used to it, but she she's um, slightly perturbed um, for many reasons. But she she she's not unused to this behavior. <laughs> she just shut it down. Um, you see, Morena kind of um, reach out a glass to all of you and go, "Have you ever played a the truth?" And two lies. It is a big game back in my home. No. <gasps> oh, it is so fun. Okay, so what we do is we go in a we go in a circle, and we all have to tell three facts about ourselves, except two of them are not true, and one of them is. So I could say. Um, my hair is pink, my hands are purple, and I'm really enjoying this meal. And it is the third that is true, but it, obviously it is like more spicy things than that. 
Are you down? Wilbur. Let's and, go. Uh, Wilbur Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah, I love this game. We, uh... Well, we didn't really used to play it, did we? And Rildan just <laughs> sheepishly looks back at his meal and shakes his head. <laughs> okay, I'll go first because I did, you know, I suggested it. It's fine. Okay, so... Uh, one time I went on a date pretending to be my sister. Um, the second one is uh, when I was a child, it was my dream to have a beard. <laughs> and the third one is that as a teen, I almost ran away from home to join the Tunisia Circus. <laughs> and she takes a sip of her, of her drink. Which do you think is true? I pose it to all of you. You guys can roll insight checks, or you can ask questions, or you can just give it a guess. I'll just give it a guess. Yes, you be wanted to be in the circus. Mmm. She calls, but... I I always knew I was not flexible enough. But not Ah, oh, that's a shame. I know. I, like if I if I could bend my leg further than one way or the other, then it, it would be a done deal, you know. But that's not not for me unfortunately. Anybody else? Uh, you wanted to have... Santa Claus. <laughs> who who is Santa Claus? Eat what? your food, Lada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to have a beard. Oh. Is that the question or an accusation, Lada? <laughs> oh well, it wasn't it one of. <laughs> oh who am I kidding? You are right! <laughs> I don't know why, I just always feel like it would suit my... my jaw. Oh, I Have bet it would. Mustache you can just play with, you know? <laughs> have, uh... have any of you got any? This is my first grand adventure. Mm -hmm. I can talk to animals. My caber is carved from a sacred oak. Mm. What kind of sacred oak are we talking? Where was this sacred oak? Wilbur gets in on the interrogations. Ah, <laughs> oh, the truth. It's back in my hometown. Hmm. Vague. Not a bad Very. move, either way. I'll guess that. You know what? I'll guess that was the truth. That is not the truth, actually. Dang it. <laughs> Bought it again. <laughs> Eat some more of his meal <laughs> drinks. Is it two truths and a lie or two lies and a truth? Two lies and a truth. Ah, okay. It was easier to do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So it was, this is your first big adventure, or what was the other one? I can talk to animals. You can talk to animals. Hmm. Well, surely anyone can talk to animals. You are out, it's not your turn, you're not allowed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I mean, he has got a point. Surely anyone can talk to animals. It's whether they can understand you back. So I'd say that one's sure, true. Sure, spell. Hmm. You are correct, and you're more correct than you think. Um, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. I can talk to them. Right. Well, same here, I guess. Cheers to that. <laughs> she raises her glass and takes another swig. Mm. Well, I'm uh, about ready to pass out, so let's do one more round. Who seems... <gasps> I mean... We've got the Hero of Heroes here. Come on, Tarquin, give us a couple. All right, uh, but it's not going to be easy. Mmm, okay. Let's see how much you know about my great adventures. Let's see, uh, it was uh, too late and a truth. Yes. All right. I'm going to mix them up a little and uh, let's see. First, um, I once arm-wrestled a giant and I won. Fairly easy, I might say. Hmm. Two, I've seen my death a hundred times and I am still alive. And three, I've stolen a kiss from a banshee without getting cursed. And it was a very disgusting kiss because she used the tongue and ugh. Eh, never mind. Which one is the truth and <laughs> which, are, which ones are the lies? Yodin and Wilbur just shudder. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen your death a thousand times? A hundred. Well. Fortunately. Oh, well, that makes all the difference then, doesn't it? Hmm. Are these like your past deaths or future deaths? Oh, uh, I hope. Uh, no, 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 no present. And unfortunately, I do not know about the future. But who knows? Hmm. Oh, no, I might have to sit this one out. It was in difficult mode. Don't worry. Hmm. That almost sounds like a challenge. She's gonna roll inside on your ass. Haha! <laughs> 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 uh, nope. <laughs> She's too drunk. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> I quite like well. the morbidity of seeing your death a hundred times. Oh, do go on before. My apologies. I was gonna say, if she doesn't want to take that bet, I will. It's an interesting one. I do think that you've perhaps seen your death several times. And then that would be correct. Oh. I unfortunately have not uh, wrestled a giant yet, but uh, that is a challenge I am looking forward to. And if you see a banshee, then, uh, well, let's try not to kiss her. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound like it'll be pleasant. Speaking of kissing banshees, how you doing there, big guy? It's not making so much smoochy eyes at me anymore. I kiss the banshee and I'll kiss you. Mm. Okay, then. Um, on that note, <laughs> that was a lovely dinner. Um, I am... Gonna go and see if I can help make some preparations. Um, you guys are probably leaving soon, right? Looks to the four of you. Five of you, sorry. <laughs> uh, if the offer still stands, we would just like to have a nice rest today before we head out. Okay. Uh, well, I believe Lady Atiran is back at, uh, camp. Though, I mean, that'll require you going back to camp and then coming back here. You know what? I'll just give her a bail. Bring her over here real quick. And, uh, y'all can get the details sorted out for yourselves. If that sounds alright. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know what lies next for me. But if I don't see you again, it is 
truly been a pleasure. And, uh, it's kind of nice to have met someone with a similar reputation to yourself, Mr. Tarkling. Oh, the pleasure is mine. You do know who I am, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> oh, that shit. Is a <laughs> Drunk and natural 20. Plus nice. something stupid because it's fucking Finay. Um, she is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I just want to check what her, what her modifier is uh, in that voice specifically. Oh yeah, that's a natural twenty-six. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Do you know who she is? No, I mean, it's valid. Those answer. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should know. <laughs> um, you can roll a history check if you like. Um, I don't know how big Tarquin would be into the uh, bardic music scenes, really. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Fourteen. That turns of table. All right. Um, y you know, now that she said that, <laughs> it's taken a few <laughs> days of stewing. Um, it does that sometimes. I, I'm the same. Um, but you do. You're kind of starting to put it together, and you kind of flashbacks remembering her playing in the tent before the other night. You've, you've definitely heard some of her songs going around. Um, yeah, she's she's a fairly big. Uh, renowned bard, especially in this in this region. Um, yeah, you've you've heard of her. You've heard of her. Of course, I heard of you. I really like your music. And you know what? Since I am feeling generous tonight, I think I will let you write a poem or a song about me. Oh, that's very presumptuous of you. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep it in mind. You're welcome. Let's see how that Banshee interaction goes first. That, no, that seems like a thing where I could write. Well, if that ever happens, I will give you all the information. Even the dirty littles. Hmm. Tarquin does rhyme with a lot of fun, spicy words. Toodaloo. Nice to meet y'all. And, uh, look after the big one, right? On it. <laughs> yep. Nudo's just like, why is Umberlai leaving? <laughs> Umberlai, come back. <laughs> I'll see you later, baby. I know you won't. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and uh, she saunters out. <laughs> why is Umberlai mad at me? What I do? Uh, she's just got to go to the potty real quick. It really has to go. She'll be back soon. Don't worry. <laughs> he sadly scoops another uh, whole shrimp into his mouth. <laughs> uh, and at this point, desserts are uh, being served out, which are the um, very avant-garde uh, self-portraits of friends, the seagull. Um, <laughs> and um, a couple more rounds of um, Two Lies and a Truth go around. If anyone wants to join in on that, please do so now. But if not, that is also fine. I was thinking really hard on it. I'm on my last one. I'm it's trying. okay. We we can we can we can play it again later. We can play it any time. You you'll just be a cab like saying, guys, let's play this <laughs> one. That's valid. This doesn't have to be a one-time thing. <laughs> you'll just be like in a really dodgy bar somewhere. And it's like all these really intimidating bar goes, and you'll be like, hey, have you guys heard of of two two lies one truth? <laughs> <laughs> no. Slice the kid's gizzard open when I was seven. Oh, that's really interesting. I think it was that one. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, 
<laughs> yes, otherwise the evening goes on uh, without any further hitches. Um, Ludo slowly coming back to um, to himself. All right. <laughs> slightly dazed, slightly confused. Nothing too out of the ordinary otherwise. Um, as you're all kind of wrapping up from dinner and getting ready to go to bed, um, you see um, Lady, I or Mistress Icta, uh, the hunting master, uh, come in through the front door and kind of give you guys a little wave um, at the staircase. Hey, so, uh, Tyrion's really tired, so she's asked me to come, which is fair enough. Uh, so, I guess the question is, are we, are we good? Are we in? Are you guys taking up the deal? I guess we are. We've all discussed it. What'd you have us do first? Well, it's wonderful to have you all aboard. First off, um, thank you so much for the help. I know it's been a crazy few days, to say the absolute least. And us coming to you with such a broad, yet vague, yet seemingly doomish, apocalyptic level of proposition is... Maybe not the first thing you'd want, uh, after a festival. But we do really appreciate your help. Um, for right now, uh, I would say get some rest, get any last goodbyes in. Um, if you need to organize anything, if you need to keep in touch with people, uh, see where people are going or anything. Um, I know Luke is back on her feet now, so... Um, and she definitely would like to say goodbye. Um, yeah, that all waits for you in the morning. Um, obviously, we're still quite a few airships down because of the, uh, the other night, but... We'll have a emergency craft here sometime in the morning uh, so that you guys can get back to headquarters or temporary headquarters for now. And there'll be a couple of days of just getting used to everything there, having a break. <laughs> God, no, we need it, need it sometimes. And then... A couple of days after you arrive, we'll be there, and we can meet up more officially then. Sounds good. Of course. Um, you guys uh, need anything? Low just enough to rest. Hmm. Head All hurts. right, well, I'm going to get big guy to his room. You guys don't mind. I'm on, Ludo. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay. Left foot first. Let's go. <laughs> it's quite a... Ludo, while you're still just on the brink of coming out of the hallucinations, man, this is the biggest fucking staircase you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. It Do I have to roll a constitution <laughs> There's too many. Carry me. No, I... I t <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Carry me. <laughs> I would, but your stomach's gonna get in the way. <laughs> I mean, look at him. How can you say no? <laughs> this is D&D &D Sisyphus just, edition. Just, <laughs> just put your arm over my shoulder. Okay, come on. Uh, I, I'd say you're strong enough to manage to get uh, an, a very amenable ragdoll um, Ludo up the stairs. <laughs> <sighs> Are you both okay? Anything else we can uh, provide or answer for you? Ignore the sounds of doom and gloom. I thought that was a Laro. <laughs> 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 I 
in spirit. No, not really. Just need some peace and quiet and spend the night. Team here. Okay. Well, uh, enjoy it. Thank you again. Um, I don't know if there's like another set of stairs you can go up, because they'll probably be there a while. <laughs> but yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning sometime. She Good night. Kind of straightens herself out, gives you a little salute, trying to remember her formality and professionalism, and uh, bids you good night. And is there anything you guys would like to do before big long, big long rest, big long sleepy time? Yes, I have a question, DM. Of course. Can I, can I instead of sleeping, meditate? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. It's basically the same, but without the nightmares. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Smart. Wonderful. Oh no, you're pulling some shit on me now, Tarquin. I see what it is. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, to uh, be though, made. I mean, I really want to. I want to see more of that. But this night, mm -hmm. he needs to be clear in his mind. Mm -hmm. And you Wonderful. see, you see nothing in your meditations either. So you're safe. <laughs> but if there's nothing anyone else would like to do, everybody gets a long rest. All right, all right. <gasps> Thank you for the raids, by the way, guys. As we wait, wait, I prepared, I prepared for this. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. <laughs> I love that. Which was that from? Uh, Bravely Default. Oh, <laughs> nice. I had to find us a sleepy song. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get us a sleepy song. Thank you so much for the rates. Um, right, so long rest, morning come. Um, everyone is, as far as you know, entirely back to normal. As normal as can be, at least. Um, Ludo, you awaken with the little friends perched atop your hat. Um, <laughs> and completely clear of mind and with no real recollection of the nature of the hallucinations you had, but the definitely um, an awareness that there were hallucinations that were had because of the of the flower. Um, but you seem fine. You seem fine now, so that's good. <laughs> I think Ludo's gonna cast Cure Hangover or whatever the equivalent is as soon as he wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> you you drink some water, splash some water on your face, and you the spell is done. <laughs> you are <laughs> unhangovered. <laughs> easy peasy. So it is morning. Um, it is a slightly cooler morning but very clear sky very clear sunny sky and you've got a couple of hours now until it is time to depart from tutorial island what would you guys like to do i don't think there's anything in particular i want to do just uh were we told what to do like were we supposed to like go somewhere and meet up with someone and just say your goodbyes and head over to the uh, camp when you're ready. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, question, DM. Yes. Where is um Xinhua? Jo. Xinhua. Oh, Xinhua. Um. Yes. Xinhua. Will is... we be going there anytime soon? You're getting gonna be getting closer to it. Uh, let me do the magical, very technical thing I do. Hello. Yes, I'm getting your food in a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, that, that is dancing. a that was a zoom. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna very yeah very technologically uh, take a screenshot of the old map. New map coming soon. And... I'm wondering if we should take Luca with us now because we haven't been given our first directive. That's pretty much 
seemingly what, um, what, um, blah, blah, Actilneth suggested to do. You've got to find a way to allow, allow a plus one. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so we should take her with us now. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know. So, cool. I've circled on the map the place you're heading. I'm putting it in the Discord. Um, circled the place you're going. The arrow is where Xin Xinhua Hua is. Xinhua, that's it. Circle equals HQ. Cool. Eight. Arrow equals Xinhua Hua. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, gotcha. All right. Don't worry, you guys are missing very primitive world map Microsoft Paint. <laughs> it looks nice. It's not bad. It looks like YouTube clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> I'll post. I'll post it on the Twitter. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> no, the world. What the world is going map. on in Osprey these days? <laughs> TMZ has your information. You'll never believe it. I'm, right, I'm just <laughs> posting it with the word "mep." <laughs> That's all you're getting. <laughs> the rumor come out that that Osprey is the city to be. The places are lit. <laughs> Um, it's too accurate. Okay. <laughs> like, follow, and subscribe for more. Um, so, the question is, who would you like to say goodbye to? And what approach will you take in terms of getting Luca on board with you? I'm gonna speak to my girl, Icta. Okie doke. Morning. Hector, how's this day find you? It's the morning, so uh could be better. Oh, not a morning person? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Is everything usually... alright with you? Oh, yeah, just um, in uh... Airship management hells, you know. Got a lot of airships with a lot of people that have gone to a lot of different places so we could get all of them healed just good enough. And then we need to actually figure out getting people from here back to where they're meant to be via the airships that are currently in those other places. Victor, Victor, Victor. Can I help you in any way? You've done a lot and you've had absolutely no rest these past couple of days. I'm a hunter. I'm used to that, you know. Been out in a forest for six and a half weeks looking for big old, I don't know, monsters and stuff. Yeah, okay, I've forgotten monster names, but like as soon as I get back, like in a couple days, I'll be fine. I promise. But thank you. I, I do appreciate you. I'm going to take I'll that promise seriously. Get yourself a good rest at some point. May I ask if you could do a favor for me? I would think you're the person to talk to. Oh, since you started this conversation so flatteringly, please do. Well, we have a mission coming up. I know that uh, four of us were supposed to go, but we're going to need to take a fifth. Possibly six. That would be number six. But we'll also have to take Luca with us as well. Oh. Why is that? She's from here, isn't she? Well, we've made some arrangements, uh, and she's going to have to accompany us. Um, yeah, it's kind of a private matter between um, Luca and her spiritual advisor, and we were kind of hoping that we could give her a lift. And most especially, we think she would be a great addition to the team as well. Her having her abilities and all. Okay. Well, Tyrion's not here, and she's usually got to say so on these kinds of things. Uh, you do so on your own head, be it, I guess. Would be my, uh, would be my go-ahead. 
If that's alright with you. If it's okay with you, I'll take full responsibility. Me. I have no other problem with it otherwise. You can just say I knew oh. you were the person to ask. I would say I could appoint you as her as a cleric, but you've got a cleric. I think so. We could always use another. We could always use another. Yeah. I don't think there's one on the airship though. So yeah. Need a So we could definitely use another. Yeah, Alliance appointed healer. Does she knows, right? She knows that she's going with you. Oh, I'm gonna talk to her in a moment. <laughs> I was giving her some time to rest, considering the death and everything. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, there's a lot of that. Um, speaking mm. of which, mm -hmm. uh, Luca still doesn't seem to have the energy for the last revivification we were hoping for. Um, we would ask that you would take Christy with you back to her family. Arrangements have been made in Ninut itself, so you wouldn't have to take the body yourselves personally, but her family doesn't live too far away. Say no more. Of course. Thank you. And, uh, if there's nothing else, I believe the ship's due in a couple of hours. So, good luck questioning your friends. Not that sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have... You know what? I'm gonna have 20 minutes. I'm gonna have 20 minutes. Be I sure think. to get that rest. Yeah, yeah, I will do. <laughs> Alright, cheers, be fun. The character. Be a fibs? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and I guess there's no way to get Christy up, huh? Since they were trying to revivify her. Yeah, currently um, the only pilgrims that are remaining on the aisle are not clerics. Um, other than the one appointed specifically to the palace, but they're kind of on um, reviv revivify um, backup in case it is needed should another disaster happen. Am I mistaken? Umberlai is one, right? Umberlai? is not a cleric. Umberlai is not a bard. cleric, okay. Yeah. Uh, and Luca wasn't a cleric, right? Or is she? Luca is a cleric. But she doesn't but have the Luca... energy, yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. Yep. All right. And the resources, because um, for for gameplay behind the scenes, for those who don't know, um, <laughs> uh, pretty much component rules in D&D &D make my head hurt. I've played in a component <laughs> campaign. It hurts my soul. It hurts my body. It hurts my mind. Pretty much anything's fair game except for like the really big fucking spells, uh, including Revivify. So for stuff like Revivify, it will require components or more extenuating means in order to cast. Because you know, surviving a whole last like person. Like a thousand gold or something, right? Crystal. Um, a thousand gold. It's. I think it's in five e a diamond worth three thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. But, you know, I like I I prefer more narrative plays on it because I'm like, what does it? What did a diamond do? Like <laughs> to be <laughs> worth it? Mm. <laughs> Plus, like also like, what if like we have like a normal diamond and then we sell it to somebody for three thousand? Like, does that diamond suddenly work? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's for me, it's more like it, it's it's more akin to. Um, if you if when you play Breath of the Wild and your horse sadly perishes, um, I know a couple of us here can relate to that. And the mean Missy. horse lady makes Sorry. fun of you and scares you. <laughs> we love you forever, Brandon, who died what like <laughs> fucking eight years ago. <laughs> Remember that horse so significantly. The when you're playing for... <laughs> but like. When you lose the horse, you have to make, like, I swore that I would ride no horse on the way to revive my pony. So I just, like, walked that shit. I walked <laughs> one side of the map to the other on a friggin' pilgrimage. If Dang. I died, I had to go back. 
Like, I made sure I earned it. <laughs> and then I got my pony. And then I learned it also cost a lot of money. So I was like, fuck. And then I had to go sell a lot of this stuff. And then I came back and I was like, okay, I'm ready now. Um, but it's more its more the, for me, it's more that kind of meaning behind it that gotcha. is more important than component cost. If I can try, I'll try. Um, yeah, just let me know when we get close to her family. Of course. But... And uh, mm. I guess I should go talk to Luca, but if anybody would like to take their turn first. Yeah, or you can all go and talk to Luca. You can go as a group. Whoopy group. Go yeah, as probably, a group. Probably go as a group. Let's, Let's go. go find her. Whoop, 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 Luca. You find <laughs> Luca. Um, <laughs> being wholesome in a field of flower. No. Um, she, I mean, pretty much, yeah. She's um, just kind of sitting on a... Um, I got a better song for this. Yeah. Um, she's kind of sitting on a log um, outside. Oh, no, that's a bit ominous. <laughs> she's sitting on a log outside, um, kind of overlooking the sea and some of the other isles um, beneath as you, as you all approach. Oh! Hey! <laughs> How's it going? How are you feeling? Well, you know, a bit tired, but, uh, <laughs> it's... Have I said thank you yet? I feel like... I feel like I might have, but I... I think there are endless thanks I could give you for... You know, reviving me. More than enough times. I don't know, you did summon my deity to talk to them and help them bring me back. Like, what had to be done? Well, I do appreciate it, nonetheless. I mean, um, you helped us before, so we help you back. That is how it works. <sighs> well, you know, um... She kind of scratches her... <laughs> Thanks, Siggy, for the sound effects. She scratches her back, which is made out of straw, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> she scratches her back um, awkwardly and kind of blushes slightly. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, how can I help you all? You all look very purposeful. <laughs> can I help you with something? Well, so, your, uh, deity asked, and we take you somewhere, that you would know what to do when we arrived. So you're coming along with us? Well, can't say I oppose. <laughs> Might be nice to take a break from the aisles for a bit. Sounds I can good. come back here. After, though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but if you have any family or friends or whatever you'd like to say goodbye to, uh, please do. We're uh, just waiting for the airship to get ready. Well, most of them have evacuated, I think, so I will be seeing them in passing if if and when. But thank you. Um, I'll see if I can collect any last bits of my stuff, and we're going on an adventure! <laughs> she kind of bundles you all in a hug. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are we headed? Uh, uh, Some place know? in the mountains, I, I guess, right? Well, did your god tell you anything about where we're supposed to go? Mm, no. Hmm. You know, it's it's less of like a you know, like a sending stone kind of thing and more of a divine wash of inspiration for me, so. They said yeah. you would know when we got you there. Oh, let's hope so. <laughs> I trust. You've got to have faith. Well, it's not too far. It's up north. Uh, and we'll be taking you specifically to the Xinhua Viaducts. 
So if it starts to spark anything in your brain or whatever, just let us know. I will do. Thanks. There uh, you yeah. go saying thanks again. D mm, your help is most appreciated, dear friends and heroes and warriors. <laughs> well, why, thank you. And any assistance you can give us on the battlefield until we get there is also very welcome. I'll do my best. Right, um, I'll check in with you, you guys in a, in a sec then. Kind of gets up and grabs her bag and runs off to, uh, to find what's left of her shrine. Off she goes. Um, so I assume for the rest of the morning you, um, kind of go back to the sun's site for a bit and... Bid your farewells to Erwin. Yeah, and the cat. Yeah. yeah. If there's anything specifically you'd like to say at any of these points, you're more than welcome to. But, um, you know, the mail system exists, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> um, and Erwin gives, um, gives you all a very distant but strong nod of assurance. Um, Finny gets but scratches one last time. Uh, you don't see Yanka. Um, you see uh, Zephyr and Orla are finally kind of conscious and awake and uh, slightly covered in bandages and um, healing up as best as they can. Um, again, Orla being the uh, fancily dressed uh, drow woman and Zephyr being the other person who'd seemingly seen something to do with the veil. Um, do we ever learn what became of Petal and uh, Mr. Beardo? Oh yeah, they're still Tideburns. tied up. They're still tied up in uh, Icta's office, <laughs> getting <laughs> ready for slowly being prepared for moving and transport. Um, yeah, Zeph Zephyr will run over to you guys really quickly. Hey, um, so we're gonna, uh, maybe be joining you eventually in some capacity. I don't know. Um, what with the whole, you know, sky thing. Anyway, um, but yeah, we, we've, uh, been here a while, so we're gonna pack up, see if we can find any of our last belongings. More in a bit, probably. Uh, and then we'll both come over and, uh, meet up with you later. Apparently, so that'll be fun. We'll be roommates. Yay! <laughs> she, wow. she, zoomy, she zoomies back over to Orla, who just gives you all like a very sleepy nod of yeah. It, it'll mm. be chill, <laughs> I think, <laughs> or we'll go through it together. <laughs> um, you see Amelia. Oh, we, we gotta talk to Amelia. We gotta talk to Amelia. Of course. So, uh, hello, Ludi Ludi. Like, I don't know. Does that work? I don't yeah. Know if you... Yeah, Lu okay, Ludi Ludi. <laughs> uh, so you guys had an off in a bit, huh? Big adventure. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm happy for you guys, man. I don't know what this, uh, top secret, super important mission you're on is gonna be but you know i've got some work lined up for myself so it's pretty good pretty lucrative stuff but take care you, of yourself out there um freaking likewise you guys better take care because if your asses die i'm gonna come back i'm gonna revive you and i'm gonna kill your asses myself you better yeah I freaking <laughs> will <laughs> It has oh. been a wonderful pleasure and gives Amelia one of those, like, the full, like, arm handshake, you know? Yeah. Grabs, yeah. grabs her forearm, just big. Oh. Gives her a nice little hug, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> she literally says that as you're going for the hug. <laughs> and Hell yeah. next time I see you, 
I want to see that book too. I got more dragons to show you. Oh, you had better fill that shit to the brim. Oh, speaking of, uh, you all need to draw a dragon in this if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, Amelia hands the book to Aloro, um, looking at Tarquin, Aloro, and Ludo pointedly. This is the guest dragon book, right? Only the cool kids get to draw a dragon in here. Draw a dragon yeah, in here before the cool you leave. Kids. Yeah, so... On it. Law, law dictates you all have to draw a dragon in here. And it's gotta be Super Brawler. And it's gonna be Super Brawler, because it's yours, you know? Okay? And then leave it behind, because I'm collecting them. Can we roll any dice to see how shitty the dragon is? <laughs> oh, you ha like that's a given. <laughs> you can roll either a sleight of hand or a performance check. Um, if nice. you describe the dragon you are drawing, you may or may not get advantage or disadvantage at your request. Even perhaps if you're like, no, no I want to see the dragon. number first, so then okay. I can say how okay. crap it is. Fair enough. Yeah, all we'll roll to draw a dragon, please. <laughs> Sleight of hand. <laughs> Sleight of hand or performance. Gotta say, b did some good ones. Oh, that's a 10. We'd yeah. better see you out there again, Amelia. Yeah. I hope so. You know, the world's... It's, it's crazy, because, like, the world's really big. It's also sometimes really small. No, I don't know about that, BV. It's pretty freaking big. You know what? You're wise. You you know more than I do, so... <laughs> I'll trust you. We're always teeny tiny. We are but dirt under the gods' thumbnail. Oh, you say you're not wise. What? Not. Nothing. I just like dragons, man. I don't know what you want from me. Big say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is any Ludo and Naloro, how are your dragons doing? You rolling for dragon? I got roll for dragon. I rolled for dragon. What did you get for dragon? <laughs> I got a 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we suck at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a 10 We're getting means... really good at Gilbert Gottfried impressions. <laughs> A ten means it's a ver it's very legibly a dragon, so you know. Oh, oh, I got a okay, nineteen. Okay, Ludo. Okay, Ludo. I'll uh, so, I'll draw a dragon that looks like uh, friends, with a little complete with hat. Oh my fucking god! Dragon friends. I'm so happy. And I'll show friends. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly alarmed by the um, <laughs> quite apt shading. On this, on this beastie, coming out a little bit photorealistic for friends, um, <laughs> and also just a little bit photoreal. It's got like a slight photorealism to it. It's, it's quite good. Nice. <laughs> one day we're gonna eat one of these. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Have I missed anyone else? <laughs> I keep missing NPCs. I'm like, we said goodbye to everyone. How um, come Umberlai wasn't with us at dinner? What, wasn't they at the oh, palace? Oh, she or? was hanging out with Octol. Ah, because okay. he'd just come to and was discoosing. And Tefima's stuff. still MIA, right? Uh, Tefima is still, unfortunately, MIA. Yes. Yeah, okay. And that I remembered. Um, okay, I didn't miss anybody. Um, you, yeah, you, the last last people you see are Octo and Umberlai come over. Right, well, you stay safe, Octo, okay? Do I look like I won't stay safe? Well, yes. Your arm is still in a sling, and you had an entire porcupine spine thing impaling you the other day. Fair point. But, you know, we've got people to look out for us. As have you now. Hmm. She kind of looks back at your group. And gives Octol a really, really, really big hug. 
You can roll for a perception to see if you hear what she says to him. Ooh. Or you can mind your damn business. I no, won't. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to mind my damn business. I'll roll. Yeah. I'll roll too. What did you get? 20. Oh, Ooh. shit. 22. Oh, shit. Uh, 23. I which get is 22. it. 12. She got a diaphragm. <laughs> um, Tarquin, you see, she definitely whispers something in Octal's ear. Um, sadly don't hear anything. Um, Umbrelai, the rest, the other, the others of you, uh, did, what did you get, to, or are you minding your business? <laughs> are you being polite? <laughs> Alora's minding her own business, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> A valid option. Uh, both valid options. Um, yeah, the others of you, you see that, um... She doesn't particularly whisper anything new in her ear, but she does slip him a sending stone. Um, kind of like a pink, um, slightly translucent, marbled uh, pebble. And he takes it and nods and hugs back with his good arm. Alright, well, you all look after her, okay? I mean, I'd, I'd say I'd beat you up if you don't, but I don't think I'm capable. <laughs> but do take You know care. only one of us can look after her. Hope to see you soon, Octal. Too much information. <laughs> but I'm also very happy for them. Oh, I met you. Oh! <laughs> it's just eyes go really wide. <laughs> um... Just looks for somewhere to hide, and there isn't anywhere. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe um, maybe not that then. <laughs> um, and kind of gives you all a strong handshake. Hesitates slightly with Tarquin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> My heart breaks. Oh. And um, gives gives a gives a another handshake, and then a kind of. Pat on the shoulder. A pleasure to meet you. To meet you all. Right. Well. Back to... Back to bed rest for me. Those are... Zephyr and that other girl both seem very eager to have a new friend to lean on. Although I'm not the best for carrying all their bags and such, but there you go. <laughs> it happens. But yes, please, enjoy and keep in touch. All of you, okay? Bye, Octal. Take care. Blessings to you. And with that, we shall take a break! Okie dokie. As you all hear the... <laughs> that was terrible. I tried. Of an airship <laughs> coming in. Yeah. And the intro to fun. Matter of fact, that's right. You were just playing this. So everybody imagine that opening cutscene to Final Fantasy VI. I was going to say, yeah. The sounds of all the machinery starting up and everything. Oh, fuck. I had, right. it, I had it the open earlier, but playing. it... Uh, mm -hmm. I had it open earlier, but I don't have it on my playlist. I'm mad. I'm freaking me. <laughs> that's why I you're had taking it. a break. Yay! We'll see you in ten, ten -ish, ten -ish minutes, friends. See you in a bit. Bye bye.
Say hi to people. And Ooh, we are back. Hello. Welcome back. Me. <laughs> Hola. Hello. Let us know if you got any snacks and drinks. But in the meantime, thank you so much again. Andy Crowbar. Andy Crowbar did a raid. I feel like Andy Crowbar. Andy Crowbar did a raid. Not only that, Sir Valfius is streaming again. Sir Valfius, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, he's streaming. Val, do you want to be on this? Please, Val, we would absolutely love to have you as a guest character. That would be incredible. I know, I oh, think... Christ. We... That's too much chaos. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I, I remember one of the first times I discussed D&D &D with Val, I was like, so technically you could be a gnome and I could be strong enough to eat you. And, he, and I think that was my kind of introduction to D&D &D before playing D&D. &D. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for the raids and the support and the love and the follows and everything. And then, hello, goodbye, me. Uh, and hello again, vividly. Oh, uh, hello, what I read. Thank you so much for the gifts of me. Hello, Blair Rose. Hello, Kim Carter. Yes, good job to join right now. Yeah, we, I mean... It's absolutely always worth checking out the vaults, isn't it, darling? Um, because otherwise, <laughs> you don't get to see post hallucinations, Ludo, and and <laughs> versus stairs. Um, <laughs> um, is a must if you miss it to check out last week's. That was yeah, way too. Oh good. my god! If if you only have it twenty goes minutes, places. if you only have twenty minutes, just go to go back to where they start making the meal. You. <laughs> You'll thank, thank us later. Uh, <laughs> but welcome back, Kim. Hello, Volcanoes. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello again. Wee. How the NPCs are very British. I also like that. Um, it reminds me that I also am British. <laughs> My accent forgets most of the time. Uh, hello, hello. And hello, Crow, of course. Big gaming jams again. Hello. Okay. I think I think that is everyone. But if I miss someone, please wave so I can say hi. Hurry, better so we can say hello. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna bring the laptop back. Ooh, one screen, one screen DMing. Let's go. Um, <laughs> we can figure it out if everyone is down. <gasps> yes, Val. We'll talk, Val. We'll talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Long, 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 long time friend of the stream. Speaking of Assassin's Creed and Final Fantasy XV, that is how Val and I met on stream playing that shit. And I was like, this riddle makes no fucking sense. <laughs> 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 and Val came to save the day. And that was... Jesus. Yeah. Seven years ago? Anyway, time flies. And speaking of flying... Let's get back into the session, shall we? So, <laughs> as, as you've all said your goodbyes and um, the time to leave is approaching, you hear the, the some, somewhat loud um, over at the um, airship landing aisle as descending from the sky. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> we can hook you up. <laughs> uh, you see a fairly deft, not too massive, but, you know, not unsizable, happy Valentine's Day, uh, airship <laughs> uh, descend from the sky is kind of a very... Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. Could could you cue the music back up? I apparently the music's not been playing this whole time. No. I'm sorry. Let me let me know. That's that's okay. That's okay. Oh no. Ah, uh, let me let me re reshare it with you guys. I got you. I got you. Don't don't even look. I know this is this this game is for the players as much as it is for the viewers. There we go. Let us hey. know if that's working for you. Hey. <laughs> The airship is coming in. Um, it is a fairly somewhat plain uh, wooden vessel. Um, can fit a 
decent sized crew, maybe uh, 20 people at full capacity. And uh, you see it's kind of got uh, a slight tilted aerodynamic um, upper layer at the back of the ship. There is no mast, which is odd. This is some this is some n- new technology up in here. Um, and you do see like um, some roaring targeted directional uh, arcanic flames that seem to be driving this machine. Um, oh, most of your airships usually have a mast of some sorts and resemble more of a ship, but this this ain't got a mast, baby. This is running pure jet fuel of magic. Um, <laughs> and you see um, these large kind of turquoise, um, almost uh, tool-like wings uh, extending from the back cabin at either side. Uh, stretching out behind it, somehow not catching a flame <laughs> from the flames coming out behind it uh, as it descends towards the island. Um, obviously, you are all on a floating island, so this is none of your first time seeing an airship. <laughs> hmm. it takes the magic away slightly starting on a floating island. But... Um, it is it is a sweet vessel it is uh yeah blue and turquoise very bright very clean seemingly very new um it has got a bit of a kind of handiworkness to it 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 seems um like it's lovingly crafted and upgraded and um hammered together all the time so it, it feels like a sturdy vessel uh to travel on and uh as it lands you see a slew of uh crewmates uh, coming on to the island and heading to camp to bring various supplies and such over to the ship. And uh, <laughs> Ikta joins your side um, around the same time that seemingly the captain of the crew approaches. Um, you see what appears to be... I'm so excited. A uh, approximately five foot five um, mouse folk person. <gasps> um, <That's so> kind <laughs> of. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they have kind of a red bandana um, that contains some floof that flops over uh, the top of their head. Um. They have kind of a bit of party up in the back. If a mouse could have a mullet, uh, this is kind of the vibe. Um, <laughs> and they are wearing very typical kind of long, uh, billowy, uh, quite dark piratey shirt and uh, jodhpurs. And their feet uh, have some protection on the very flats, but seemingly they aren't wearing shoes, but they are just like really tight flip flops <laughs> that fit very uh to their feet um think th- we're thinking like basil great mouse detective kind of atlantis vibes of nice. proportions and um and kind a uh, couple of questions dm yes one uh how common are airships would we have seen them or ridden on them before yeah, so you've all come here via airship. Um, for for you specifically, I think if Ludo pretty much stuck to the isles that they were from before coming to this festival, it would still be a very fairly new prospect to them. Um, they're used to conventional ships mostly for getting between um, the smaller isles and uh, the larger isle if there was any need to go there of uh, disguise. Okay, what about Um, mouse people? Are they fairly common? Animal folk are kind of here and there. Um, Everyone has at least encountered, I'd say, one or two types of every uh, animal folk kind. Uh, Some more common than others. Stuff like tabaxi you see a lot more often. Um, Both your more traditional kind of D&D types. Uh, Leonin, all of that good stuff. Um, but also, like, sheep people, there are, you know, pangolin people, there are... 
Uncle and seeing Jing-Jong. those kinds of <laughs> Uncle Jing Jong, uh, Otter Folk, yeah, it, it's not necessarily like a surprise to see a new Animal Folk. Um, it can just be like a pleasant, like, oh, you guys have Animal Folk, like, that's an Animal Folk kind too, that's super cool. Like, yeah, if you know animals, it's like natural that there will be an Animal Folk kind of them. But you don't always see them about, so it can be kind of a, ooh, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Mm. For absolute sure. Um, <laughs> we love we love mouse folk. <laughs> um, yes. So you okay? Here he comes now. <laughs> you see, um, they approach uh, as you're standing uh, with Icta, who comes on over about the same time. And <laughs> I have not practiced this voice in the slightest. Um, you see them do a flourishful bow, kind of holding their little mouse hand out to you all uh, before standing upright, kind of one arm bent in front of them, one arm bent behind. Well, it's very good to meet you. I- Sorry, my crewmates are fighting currently. Hey, stop it! Uh, <laughs> my name is Captain Barnabas Yegman. It is such a pleasure. I take it you are the ones we are to be transporting, yeah? Mouse. Ah. Oh. Astute, aren't you? <laughs> human. human, let me guess, right? Are you a human? Yes, I am a ah. human. Uh, sorry, I just haven't seen many mouse people. You see, he's like looking like a kid at, a, at an ice cream truck with no money at his ears. Jesus Christ. Crewmates, please, can you be quiet? I'm trying to make new friends, yeah! <laughs> oh, that is all right, you know, it is... I don't see many of, uh, of your kind where I am from right there. Hmm. Huh. You know, handsome fellows who seem to know that they like their food, yeah? Yes. Well, now you know one of me, and you're my friend. I'm Ludo Bayani. A pleasure to meet you, Ludo Bayani. Eh? I don't know what's happening with this accent, by the way. I, I just wrote it. Russian and Welsh at the same time. <laughs> so if, it is, it. <laughs> if it's giving anything else, purely incident- <laughs> accidental. <laughs> Like eight syllables in there. Yeah, I just said Russian Welsh and left future key to worry about that now. <laughs> <laughs> I will also put the name in chat for you guys. And uh, whoever we have the uh, also pleasure of meeting here, yeah? What are uh, you? Who are the you guys? <laughs> Take your history, you weird rat man. Ah, you see now, now, you see now, like, yeah, like, mouse, yeah? Your friend, mouse. immediate, uh, immediate, he no! Mouse, yeah? Do you like polka? Do I like... Hey, you hear this crewmate say? Eh? Do I like polka? I am polka! I like you, good, good. Good to me. What is your name, though? I need the, you know. The, I no longer like it. Oh no! Wait, I forgot. Let me roll. <laughs> yeah, I dropped the dice. What is it though? What is it though? It's so far away, and my sight is bad. I am also a mouse <laughs> with an outrageous accent. <laughs> Eleven. Um. A crewmate. <laughs> You think uh, you think this guy is familiar, eh? You see, <laughs> you see a slightly astonished um, white Kenku look over. Yeah. Hey, see, Angel knows what I'm talking about, eh? Yeah? And you see the Kenku just replies with, "Hey, yeah." <laughs> oh, I fucked myself with this one. <laughs> I was like, a Kenku would be fun, and then I forgot that this is going to be the captain's voice. So there we go. (laughs) 
And uh, what of the other of you two, yeah? Oh, and uh, what is this one's name? I don't... He seems grumpy, yeah? Huh? Grumpy? Grumpy? I did, he said, I like you, and then suddenly I do not like you, yeah? Oh, this one? Um, he's, uh... He likes it when people are familiar with him, so to speak. Ah, uh, yes, the crew. You know, Angel said they are familiar with him. Hi, Angel! Come over here, yeah? <laughs> you see, Angel, who is, uh, again, just a pure, beautiful white Kenku. Um, albino, white, like with the albino pink reddish eyes. Looking slightly alarmed at all times, which is kind of ironic because in any other situation they would look alarming if they didn't look so terrified all the time <laughs> and uh, angel kind of pops on over <coughs> yeah do, do you you're you said you recognize this man yeah and angel <laughs> turns to you tarquin and goes i don't like you ah oh. well he's got you there shit Wait a minute. Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? I asked you first. Ah, you have her stumped on that one, yeah? Hey, shut up! Okay, this is getting very confusing. With, uh, you know, Angel, Angel, can you go to help with the, the packages, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Angel hops off. <laughs> <laughs> to make the scene less confusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, Kenku are a mimicry kind of creature. They rely purely on the mimicry mm. of other people. <laughs> uh, we'll be stuck forever then. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you have added to her soundboard. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes, anyway, uh, so what uh, What are your other na names, uh, the others, yeah? What, the, what is? Kind of greens. I am uh, Bifon, but I think that you should meet my friend here, Aluro, most of all. I say it's a, pl it's a pleasure, Bifon, yeah, and I look a Aluro. I look a Aluro. See them really trying to... <laughs> make that make sense with their mouth. Um, their mouth moves a lot, but seemingly not in a natural way for I <laughs> uh, Chewing I'll it up. Just, uh, just went on a little BRB, actually. Oh, no! No worries! Bro. I am on the wrong Discord page, yo! Yeah? That is my bed. <laughs> <laughs> my mind is in, like, seven places at once, yeah? So, you guys are uh, go going to be uh, on my uh, ship and crew, yeah? That we are. Oh, you sound so excited. Wait, what, crew? Well, we, well, the, just we just call that to people who are uh, on the ship with us, yeah? Oh, okay. You uh, don't expect us to help or anything. Been, I mean, uh, it would be nice. Trying time. We would like just to enjoy ourselves. By the way, do you have a deck by any chance? A deck? Or are we all supposed to stay inside the airship? Uh, the, uh, the, there is there is the deck of the ship, which is where you you can stand and help or not or, oh. not, or enjoy sights. And then uh, on the inside, you can see it there. He kind of points, points at it uncomfortably close to you, <laughs> leaning his face up to yours, just right there, yeah. Uh, there yeah. is cabin. It uh -huh. is dual function, yeah. Futuristic, yeah. Dual yeah. function, cabin uh -huh. quarter, and yeah. captain office, yeah. Yeah. Man a hammock. So many hammock. hammock. Mm. Oh. Very comfy though. I know, I know how sound is like, eh? 
I'm not uh -huh. What are you trying to sell me? You're trying to sell me lemons with no peel. It's like, no, no. That sounds like it. They, I would never try to sell you lemon without peel unless you wanted it. Yeah? <clears throat> but it's very comfy. I like a lot, yeah? There are bathrooms in there? Bathroom? I am the joshing with ya. I am the <laughs> joshing with ya. Uh, there, there is hole. Very funny. Through floor. Uh, of course, uh, there are bathrooms. Don't even worry. Uh, the dining room. You know, so there is multi-purpose, right? And it is cabin mm -hmm. quarters. It is captain office and it is dining quarters. Yeah. Top notch. And I'm following. Yeah. Futurist thing, yeah? I can tell you are a man of quality. You know quality when you see it, yeah? That's why I'm asking these questions. I'm looking for the quality. It's right there, my man. You'll see when we get on board, yeah? Okay. Have any of you ever flown, uh, flown the airship before, yeah? Like, been on an airship we... or piloted? <laughs> Drive. Its eyes kind of flare up. <laughs> Beefon looks at Tarquin. No, airship. No, I've been on the seas. If that is something similar, but. Uh, oh yeah, the... yes. The they blow sky is the total same as water. Psst, no. Ah, totally you're a funny yeah. guy. Have you ever fallen oh, from a ship? Oh, that is so kind. Thank because you that so can much. happen, you know. What, falling from ship? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, you won't fall, darling. There are many crew members help you not fall, yeah? Alright, what's your step? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know my ship like back of hand. Oh, that's no. Oh, shit. That mark wasn't there before. But other than, like, I know hand like back of ship. <laughs> Anyway, I'm so excited for you guys to the, come on the my ship. As are we. <laughs> Ikta just kind of nods at you all. They're packing your stuff now, good luck. <laughs> it's back to her Oh, yeah, Ikta, I was a mental ice cave. Kind of goes off to interrogate Ikta loudly. Oh, may I ask uh, one question? Yeah, of course. Ikta, how are our friends doing? Uh, well, we'll be bringing them over with us in a couple of days, but once we arrive, we'll probably be looking at uh, taking them to a prison somewhere just to keep them under easier containment. Fair enough. Yeah, so if they, uh, I was uh, uh, wondering, because there was like, ah, uh, and <laughs> carries on and she walks away to get him as far away from you guys for a second as she can. Thank you. At this point, Umberlai comes over. Who? Who is that? Who, who was, who was that? That was uh, the captain. Oh, marvelous. Is it too late to cancel and for me to just not come along? Like, it's nothing personal. It's just, that's a lot, that's a lot to, to, de to deal with. What do you just mean? stick to your room. Uh, no, no, he's, he's just very loud. And I think even if there wasn't one room for everyone it, it, it might grind the i think tarquin had a point i think it is more you know maybe maybe watching steps um seeing if i can learn to cast silence you know in a, a few hours i'm all for that <laughs> wonderful um <laughs> and she goes and helps take some more stuff on board um, friends follow well, along. 
Oh, yeah. But he won't be able to give any orders to his crewmen. Oh, oh, well, she's on the <laughs> left. Um, <laughs> Laura, are you back? Are you with us? Yes, I'm with you. <laughs> yes, I'm with you. Well, <laughs> you feel you feel a little tug on your sleeve behind you, and well, you you uh, do you turn around? I do turn around. You see a three foot something if that if that stretching three foot um stone kind of colored beige and brown kobold and their their little fangs poking up and out of their mouth at all kinds of directions oh hey there little thing oh hi what's up, what's up? I, uh, I, I like I like your cloak. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Do you want to try it on? Uh, oh, Mises couldn't do those, that stuff with you. Wait, wait. Just, Hold on, much. everybody. We got an important business. And then uh, Aloro takes off their their cloak. Alright, real quick. Here you go. Look. Oh, he's, he's very big. He's from Mises. <laughs> you wanna put it on for a second? See how it feels? They just they just vigorously nod their head. <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, on it goes. Their arms get to about where your elbows would be <laughs> and they are entirely swamped in it um it's very adorable though looks good he's a wizard <laughs> you are a wizard yes me yes. is so sweet. yes <laughs> me is likes good i'm glad you likes i gotta take it back now though okay Roll a persuasion check for me. <laughs> <laughs> One does not simply. <laughs> Roll for breaking his heart. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not getting it back. <laughs> I rolled a three, which is a six. A six of persuasion. <laughs> mm. It is a will one. I don't know, Mises do look really good in it. But then I'll be sad, because I'll no longer have my cloak. You don't want me to be sad, do you? Well, who, who's this uses? I uses. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Who's is uses? Oh, who's is Mises? Eyes is a Loro. I'm so happy I could cry. Who is Mises? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uses. Uses a Loro. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm, takes it off and hands it back to you. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> she starts to <laughs> poddle off. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, and then do, 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 he comes running back. Miss, Miss, is what good out there. Walkurata? Walkurata. Oh. Walkurata. Walkurata. This date's screwed. And <laughs> they, they yeah. gesture to the floor next to them. There, there's nothing there. The... 
Oh, this is. Oh! Scrooge! Scrooge! Scrooge? And you, hear a, and you just hear a. <laughs> and just Tokyo drifts. This, <laughs> have you all seen the Wally? And there's like the little cleaner robot. He's got yeah. like a little polisher on him. And he gets really angry because he has to keep cleaning up after Wally. Basically, that guy. Um, but looks very much. Oh, viv vividly knows. Y'all know Mo. Y'all like his name is Mo. I mean, this is these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> these are my people. <laughs> um, yeah, imagine like a very uh, patchwork metal put together, slightly uh, crankly um, put together uh, robotic uh, contraption. That zooms over on a little bike wheel. It looks like like a tricycle wheel, <laughs> and um, it kind of just kind of <laughs> at you guys. Scrooge, my friend. Scrooge, very yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Goes in a little circle. Mrs. Maids is Scrooge. But Scrooge is still his Mises friend, like, wheels his person. Um, Waku has the face of someone who has just so said something incredibly profound. <laughs> <laughs> and their teeth stick out at all angles <laughs> of their face. <laughs> okay, boys! And kind of holds on to the side of their of, of little Scroot and uh, Scroot just and zips off back to the back to the ship Scroot Scroot <laughs> Someone asked Waku how did you make it? And Waku replied Scroot and, and it stuck <laughs> Oh, it's screw. It's cute. Yeah, like screw it, but with without ah. the it. But with Walkie's voice, it just screw it. <laughs> screw it. <laughs> um, you see again, Angel, the uh, Kenku kind of walk past with wings full of boxes and supplies, just kind of give you guys a little. A little bit of eye contact and then bow their head and <laughs> pitter back onto the ship. Hey! No crumbs! Yeah? Rest of friends coming soon to introduce, yeah? They're back in ship right now. Good times! It gives you fun some bright distance as they're still talking to Ikta, who has her fingers in her ears. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, uh, Luca and Umberlight come back over, kind of uh, having packed their things up on the ship. <sighs> okay, is there uh, much else left to do on your guys' end? I'm good to go. I'm ready. Very excited. Ready, ready. Okay, um, let's get up on the ship. This seems like it's gonna be an interesting crew. <laughs> Luca kind of looks slightly awkwardly, like she doesn't want to say anything mean, but <laughs> she's doing the very clerical kind, of, the cleric like. Yes, everyone is lovely, but it's the, the way she said it is the cleric way of going. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> These people are weird. <laughs> Ludo will but... walk behind Umberlai and have his hands over her ears. It's kind of like matching her pace. You've said so many things today, and you've said a body part after the end of the sentence that isn't the body part I initially was expecting, and that's on me. Oh, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. that, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it was it this like the really strong, muscular, strong long, long <laughs> arms. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, the arms. I'm gonna take both my hands, cover. It's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cover <laughs> what, Ludo? <laughs> no, what's that? <laughs> Bifont gives a very Thank quick you. and knowing quick nods to Luca and helps her onto the ship. <laughs> I, I, I know, just, I know. Yeah, this will we'll be all right. Um, I hope so. Yeah, right. Um, as you uh, head onto the ship, you see um, a guy that's kind of um, winched down the uh, little rope and wooden uh, staircase onto the ship. Um, you see again, the ship is fairly plain. There's a couple of uh, kind of grappling anchor hooks um, on the sides of the ship. There's nothing particularly um, offense offensive about this ship uh, in terms of machinery. It's simply just a traveling uh, somewhat cargo ship um, for quick whizzing, whizzing about. Um... And uh, as you approach the top of the gangplank staircase thing, uh, you see a uh, human male, kind of darker uh, skin, uh, another kind of uh, jodhpur-like olive green parachute trousers, um, and just very simply wearing like a purpley homemade-ish uh, fisherman's knit, um, kind of just draping over one shoulder. Um, and he helps you all aboard, um, either with by giving you a hand up or taking some stuff off you. All right, so you've met the rest of the crew then. <laughs> Aye. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <Lauren, laughs> the chameleon, <laughs> blending into all the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start talking like the captain and it's gonna be mega because <laughs> I don't even know how the captain talks at this point, it's just happening <laughs> well uh, it's great to meet you I'm Ginger Green Blake uh, I know what the rest of them are like but give them a chance you'll, you'll warm up to them and uh, spare rear plugs in the bathrooms what's in the bathrooms? spare ear plugs oh right <laughs> Aye. But, uh, can promise you, we'll get you from point A to point B. Easy peasy. Pretty simple. Let's hope so. Aye, you, you planning on any shenanigans? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> these, these lot provide enough, I promise you. I assure you, there's never a plan. Uh, Not Jinjo, as reassuring. If, mm, if yeah, we have so. a question about the ship, are you the person to ask? If you want an answer that makes sense within ten seconds, I'd say so. Yeah, me or Lauren. I don't know if you've met Lauren yet. Um, Lauren. Um, no. <laughs> you, you hear Jinjo's loud side come out now. Lauren. Yeah. Have you met the new travelers yet? No? Oh. No, you haven't met Lauren yet. <laughs> you hear all of that transpire. <laughs> it's not a secret. Um, no, I haven't met Lauren yet. She uh, she downstairs sorting out some cargo and whatnot. I'm sorry, what Are does Jinjo look like again? Uh, Jinjo is a human. I will send you the description. <laughs> With the uh, accent note that I put down so I did not forget. Delightful. Whee! <laughs> there we go. In the character discussion. I'll send you all these after as well. Thank you! Yeah. Uh, Ginger. Our... Sorry, yeah, real ahead. quick. Uh, Ludo will uh, pull in a little closer. What? Lots of questions, I understand. Uh, Ludo will lean in close so that uh, his friends can't easily overhear and still be covering um, Umberlai's ears. If uh, we needed a place to be private while up here for <laughs> whatever reason, oh. Oh, you're uh, serious. What, what would you recommend? Have you got the spell fly? Uh, no. I'm afraid 
you're out of luck. Oh boy, how long is this trip? Ah, a couple of days most. Depends on weather really, don't it? Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> And we start walking off, and he's still he's like looking around, going, "Okay, okay." <laughs> he, he, he'll grab your arm again and pull you in. Here, play a game with me tonight. If you win, I'll let you in on a secret. All right. Okay. Gives you a wink and a click of the tongue. Hey, what? Did you steal her or something? She right look, eh? Oh, she, I uh, won her in a contest. Oh, but uh, not really to own her. Just uh, for us to be friends and then we become more than friends. Right? He says, even though he's still covering her ears and he looks towards her. <laughs> and he's like nodding. <gasps> he's he's nodding. Uh, mm. <laughs> and just, <laughs> she just smiles and nods <laughs> after a while. And just, yeah, intensive, intensive <laughs> nod. Yeah, see. <laughs> you see, you see them both kind of pause for a second, <clears throat> and then just nod at each other like, "Ah, oh, okay." Um, you can roll perception or an insight check on that. Yeah, let's um, see. What is <laughs> silently being said? <laughs> oh no, nope, that's my second one of the day. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> happening. <sighs> <sighs> they just both thought of a really funny joke at the same time. Yeah. An adequate joke at the same time. Has to be. Right, well, uh, Lauren's in the ship as well, so if you need a question answered fairly straightforwardly and without going deaf, she's also probably your best bet. <laughs> Okay. Can't miss her. Red hair for days. Got a thing for crocheting and stuff. We Can't the kill only you. guests board this ship? Aye, minus uh, the unfortunate cargo we got going on, but uh, my condolences. But otherwise, it's just, just us. Gonna have a nice party, innit? All right, get the show on the road then. All right, so I'll, I'll show you to the uh, to the everything room where everything is, um, and you go through to what would ordinarily be like the captain's quarters, and no word of a lie, it is multifunctional. <laughs> it is, um, <laughs> it's not giving futuristic though; it's giving literally uh, take the blueprint of a. Uh, of bedquarters, but all hammocks, and then put a captain's desk kind of in the middle towards the back of the room. Uh, and then there's like what seems to be a little communal uh, sitting pit for eating and hanging out, and there's cards and dye and all sorts of gubbins, and there's a lot of gubbins. Um, oh, there is <laughs> a lot of knickknacks. Uh, a lot of uh, tidbits going around, lots of stuff crammed in every nook and cranny, and all of that stuff. There's there's little bits of of things everywhere, but otherwise the ship seems in tip top condition. Says and... you. <gasps> well, you can ro you can roll an investigation check if you don't believe me. Um, I welcome it. <laughs> um, and as you head in, uh, you see kind of the, you, you instantly can recognize which are your, uh, hammocks for the night because they are all blue, um, and haven't got, again, gobbins surrounding them, uh, all over the place. And there are three on each side of the, uh, room. Top bunk, middle bunk, bottom bunk of, uh... Of hammocks. Nice. Uh, Umberline looks to you, Ludo. Not sure we're sharing one here somehow. Uh, we'll make it work. 
I don't know that that hammock's going to hold me, to be honest. I'm sure it will. Okay, well, I don't know if it's going to hold both of us. He says and gives her a little a little pinch. A little playful little I'm pinch. not sure we want to be doing that in a room with this many people. Oh, of course, of course. No, we'll no, find I'm a place. Gonna... I just got to win a man in a contest. I'm not opposed. Uh, at this point... <laughs> <laughs> at this point, um, you hear some quite heavy footsteps um, coming up from what seems like a bottom deck of some sorts. Um, and you see um, fairly, fairly considerably tall... Uh, kind of six one six two ish tall uh, half orc, um, slightly more human humanoid than orc um, woman, uh, braided hair kind of on one side, the other side just a huge phrase of red hair, just <laughs> red hair, um, pirate outfit once again, uh, kind of the simple shirt, the jodhpurs. Um, Kind of a long, what seems to be like an oar of some sorts on her back. Um, and uh, yeah, she is also wearing a little crocheted vest kind of that reaches uh, midway down her torso. Um, that purposefully does not connect in the middle. Because it wouldn't be as sexy if it did. In her mind at least. You figure. Oh, you guys, the... Uh, New crew, then. New guests. Yeah, we, we... Yeah. We don't do guests in presentation very often. If you couldn't tell from this mess. Hmm. Ah, that's fine. We're not expected to work, are we? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Just joking. I don't think any of us has ever piloted an airship before. Who knows well, with Bar... Well, Barbanus would never let you pilot his ship. So, that's... That's not a worry. I would say. But, uh... Pleasure to meet you guys. Uh... Saw you meet Jinjo. He's a great guy. I'm Lauren. Lauren Gray. Uh, I make sure there aren't, like, uh, rats and stuff aboard. Pretty much. Jinjo said like we ask you if we have a question and we don't want to wait for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's one way of putting it. Although I'd prefer not to be bothered if it's, uh, any... Funny you should yeah, mention that. Home. That actually brings up my question. If we want to go somewhere where we won't be bothered, is there a place like that here on the ship? Well, seeing as I heard you, uh... No, I didn't hear. Never mind. DM is wrong. Fuck the DM. <laughs> um... Ugh, can't help you there, buddy. It was worth that chat. Yeah. So how do you people wash yourselves? In front of everyone else? Is that an offer? Oh. That could be arranged, but no, no, no. I am asking you. <laughs> could? No ambition? I'm gonna roll something real quick and it's not to do with shallows. Oh. Showers. Showers. Do you want to get a shower? Okay, um... Doggy Queen. I feel... <laughs> I, uh... F feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, no, um... Well, there's places to... Wa we have water. We're not... You know, we're not chocolate And, and wash rooms, right? There's, like, cupboards with cleaning stuff in them, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll be uh, below deck if you need anything. 
Uh, yeah, maybe don't go below deck when the ship is flying. You can come and have a peek now, but like maybe don't because that's where all the arcane fire is. If you want your ass to get roasted and you decide not to go to uh, Warku when they're drunk, um, then you can come down here and get your ass roasted instead. So. Which cool. way to the deck? The deck? Yeah. It's out there. And she points Thanks. to the deck of the ship. Just a very, again, very plain deck. Slight banister around it. Couple of claw hook anchor mechanisms. Wait. Fairly, fairly, fairly simple. This, uh, this ship ain't built for real big journeys, you know? Oh, no, that's fine. Just as long as there's an outside. Well, plenty. We've got too much of that sometimes. That's how the rats get you. All right, well, I'm going to go uh, go downstairs for a bit. I'll catch you later. Or maybe not. Uh, drinks are at a time when the sun goes down. So, yeah. Um, oh, Bar Barbinus always forgets to mention this. But, um, you know, if something attacks the ship while there are um guests uh considering the bulk we have and the weight of everything added up we might not be able to help out just just so you know i don't think anything will sometimes we have like rat problems and um flying rat problems aka vultures but well, we should be okay my question yeah, we should be okay, but we might not be able to help. So hopefully you guys have got that covered, because we'll be stirring the ship. She ain't used to such a heavy load. The Thank temptation. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, no worries. All right, peace and heads. <laughs> she heads back down under under the deck, donning some goggles. And this is. This is home for the next couple days. Hey everyone, there's flying rats. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that this was going to be like a vacation. Like, uh, you know, we do the work when we land. I think they said that we mm. might need to do some work while we're here. They'll be saying uh, that to the crew. Yeah, or to not pretty, the crew, but to us. Pretty ambiguous, I think. How many time will tell? <laughs> All right, everybody. If you have any last goodbyes, yeah, say them now. Yeah. I don't know where this voice is going. <laughs> it's got like a little bit of Celine Dion in there, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's got some Shakira, yeah, a little bit of Shakira in there. There were nights when the wind was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to end up like Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shoot you guys. I didn't think about the floating icebergs. Oh, no, no, yeah. We went to every night in my dream. <laughs> you guys should join me on the deck. Hair of wind through your hair makes you feel like the king of the world. Mies is king of the world. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Morku just gets carried away by the fucking breeze. <laughs> it's so tiny. Cause I'm your lady. Uh, <laughs> and you're my man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, today's too much. We haven't even gone to the scheduled chaos yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. All goodbyes said and done. All business wrapped up, hopefully. And if not, I will have regrets and we will backtrack if we need to. <laughs> you will board the ship looking over to friends and allies alike. As you hear the huge arc iconic engines begin to flare up the little <laughs> a 
as the heat just billows up uh, to the to the deck level for a second, kind of overwhelms you. The smell of the smell of pure magic and heat takes over, and you feel the ship begin to lift off. You see, um, no, I've forgotten everyone's fucking names now. <laughs> you see, Jinjo. I was gonna call him Jonjo. Close enough. Uh, you <laughs> see, Jinjo um, pull up the uh, anchor hooks in the stairs. Um, you see Umberlai go over to the side of the ship and wave to Octol and friends. Um, Icta shoots you a little salute from from the ground. Um, as you look up to the palace, you see the, the royals waving at you. Um, and you take to the skies with the of the the ship's just gone pure upwards right now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> <laughs> and friends and folks in between. Just imagining like a gospel. <laughs> <laughs> gospel service going on. Mm, ladies and gentlemen! Mm. <laughs> My name is Captain Barnabas the Eggman, yeah? The Eggman stands for the Eggman. Uh, we will be taking to the skies as of right friggin' now, yeah? So please keep your arms and legs and dicks and wings inside the vehicle at all times, yeah? Send love and praises to the gods and deities that you worship to not crash the ship, cause that- Oh god, that would be such a shame. That would be such shine. That would be such a shine. We do not want that. Uh, and we will be making headway for Ninut just south. And we will arrive there with, what, like two days, day and a half? Two days, day and a half? Approximately two days, day and a half from uh, right now. So. I also just realized that not long ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't even worry about it. Uh, my mama was a good lady and never knew her. So we will be keeping our arms and legs and tails inside the vehicle at all times. And we will be taking off right now. If you have regrets or feel sick, don't. Uh, life is beautiful and your mistakes are not mistakes, they're just a course in the river, it has to sway to and fro. Alright, let me hear you say, Captain! 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 <laughs> Angel does a perfect, Captain! Oh, it is, uh, I'm so glad we got Kenko, yeah, I hate, I hate that guy's voice. It's so annoying. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's good. We got we got the rules down. Rule one, captain. Yeah, and rule two be cool. Uh, just be cool, okay. Uh, okay, let's drive ship South. And you just Talking feel the carnival a... again. <laughs> and you just feel a and you hear the back engines just rotate slowly, just before the real flame starts and you just, you kind of lurch forward as the ship speeds uh, southward. And you're on your way! Now where'd the music, now where did my, where did my sick tunes go? Yeah, there we go, that is the one, yeah, let's go, let's get the part going. Umbrella like, gets some bongos out. <laughs> Plays this somehow. <laughs> um, is there any immediate business you guys would like to get up to whilst on the ship? Oh, I forgot to tell you the ship's name. Yeah, I forgot the most important detail. Everybody meet the most important crew member, yeah? I don't know why I say y'all like you're gonna say you're back to me, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do. Uh, welcome aboard the Feather Boon airship! Any fights? We're relying on you. Takes all of us to have this baby flying, you know? Uh, she's a beauty though. She's my wife, so be nice to her, okay? Uh, it's hard to tell if that's a joke boon? or not. Feather Boon. Feather boon. <laughs> 
Feather Feather Boon. Boon. I see. Feather Boon. Alright, then in questions you guys know how to ask. Okay, it's pretty chill from now on. It's just a lot of, you know, ceremony as we're leaving the islands and whatnot. Bye bye, islands! We'll see you next time! Bye bye, yeah, bye, -bye. island! Hey, yeah. Now we can die! There's no such thing as tutorial <laughs> island if you're always learning, yeah? Do you ever think about it that way? That Mind shit blown. isn't true. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Anyway, we're gonna have a party, okay? It's gonna be a good time. Okay, so is there anything, you guys, that character, that, you know, there are some voices that you do, and there are some voices that you, like, embody, and some voices possess you. <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> Barbanus Yegman is now in, in me. <laughs> <laughs> I am not driving Happy that ship. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's hey. Day. I, I, I've been to, you know, I've been to some establishments in my time, you know, it's fine, you know, it's good, good times, tasty treats. Also, the bazongas. Anyway. <clears throat> Anything you guys would like to do as you uh, begin your journey on the ship. Zooming over. The blue seas north of Osprey. I'll take that as a no, which is I mean, fine. I'll... I'm just asking. Give us a... Oh, <laughs> probably just take a look at the sights and explore the ship and get something to eat. Mmm. Well, we we do have a ship aboard, <laughs> um, and and he's in the party because. The rest of the crew ain't not prepared. Uh, <laughs> um, you do see um, Warku comes over. Uh, Warku definitely seems to have a little bit of a uh, curiosity for e e everything, um, especially anything new to new to them. Uh, you guys, notwithstanding, uh, so he makes his way over to you, Bifon. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> just imagining like six foot something beef on and then just <laughs> two two foot something <laughs> Warku just standing next to each other like giving each other the nod like it was him. <laughs> so cool. <right? laughs> it's so tiny. Yeah, ocean's big as yeah. Come alive. again. Ocean big. Yeah. Very big. Blue. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. Not? Sometimes various colors. Depends on what's in the water. <laughs> he kind of looks down at his hand and looks back up. He uses one's nuts. Ooh, yeah, sure, thanks. Means his hands nuts. Um, he puts a bunch of metal nuts into your hand. Oh. Whoa. Did this come off the ship? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Puddle, puddles off to the side of the deck and just starts hammering away on something. Just like pulls a welding mask over. And starts <laughs> welding wood. Um, question mark. <laughs> Just give like a smile and a nod, like I'm at the end of a Benny Hill sketch. <laughs> okay. So you're just taking your time getting used to the. Hey. Getting used to the sights, which is mostly still just high up, lots of ocean, pretty much used to that uh, being on ash sky. Um, you do see very distant in the horizon, kind of to your north, east, west, uh, to your west, as you're facing a pure southerly direction. Uh, to your west, you may begin to see uh, on the horizon uh, the beginnings of mountain tops peeking out. Um, the sky is still fairly light, fairly blue, 
uh, from the, um, you know, kind of midday, noonish time. And the sun high up in the sky. Doing good. Um, all kind of, uh, well, very important. Bonk selection time. We've got three, <laughs> two top bunks, two middle bunks, two bottom bunks. I'm we sleeping can... on the deck. <laughs> the the point still stands. <laughs> you guys take um, whatever. I'll sleep inside if it rains. I'll do bottom bunk. I don't want to cause any horrible chain reactions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sleep above you, and I can make sure that you don't snore, hopefully. Although this seems like a ship of snores, honestly. Yeah, any luck in learning that spell, Silence? Um, get back to me on that. <laughs> okay. AKA, give the DM time to go through her character profile sometime. <laughs> Fine, Umberlay. Umberlay spells do surprise me, I've got to say. Sometimes I forget some of the stuff I've given her. Um... She does not, unfortunately. Unless. Unless. If she levels up a bit more, though, she'll be ready. Uh, I can go top bunk, then. If that works. Uh, what about the you two, Laura and Tarquin? I think I'll enjoy the wind in my hair. It is nice hair. Yes, I take very good care of it. Thank you. Yeah, but I was going to ask, what does that routine look like? Um, well, I usually use uh, oils and very clean water. Mm. And I keep it fresh and healthy. It looks good. You can touch it if you want. Her eyes widen and she has to persuade herself. Um, she's rolling persuasion on herself. <laughs> <laughs> um, she she goes to and she's like, oh no 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 no, I, um, thank you. It looks incredible. I wouldn't want to taint it. <laughs> it is natural silver. Yeah, like I I put all sorts of stuff in my hair and it doesn't just do that. Whatever it's doing, just it's mesmerizing, you know. Well, I <clears throat> anyway. happen to be blessed. But thank you for noticing. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Yes, it's fine. There's no problem. I'm going to climb up in my bunk now. <laughs> and she just kind of goes <laughs> and <laughs> hides <laughs> in her t in her top bunk. <laughs> um, Umberlai looks to you, Ludo. Hey, I thought of a... Um, I've thought, thought of some lies and the truth. From, oh, yeah. from that game that you were playing? Yeah. I've thought of some if you want to play. Oh, okay. Uh, let me come up with mine. Hold on. Laura, what are you up to? Uh, <laughs> well, write, well, let me write these Ludo, down. Write these Ludo thinking real hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to use one of my feats. <laughs> <gasps> Nye. I have a... Nye. Which, which feet would you like to use? I'm like, I'm like hoping for something useful, like falling on my feet if I took a top <gasps> bunk, you know? Do I have that's, to open XL right idea. now? Do you I do have, have to, to open, open XL? XL right now. You do! Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Never been so excited to open Microsoft XL. Oh no, that's the incomplete one. Where's the complete one gone? Oh shit. <laughs> All right, roll for me. Well, would you like a bane or a boon? Or are you just open to what the fates give you? I would like a boon, please. <laughs> okay. Roll a d100 for me until you get a even number. Ooh. We're doing 
a new homebrew thing, you guys. It is officially, unofficially called Just Cat Thangs. Um, <laughs> it is a wild magic table. Cat style. 18. 18. Are you fucking serious? Wait, what did you say you wanted ideally again? <laughs> I, ideally, I wanted to be able to land on my feet if I was sleeping on the top bunk and like it the the ship like lurched or something. Okay, it's not that exactly, but I'm actually fucking shook that it's <laughs> as close. Um as and I'll send you a screenshot because I am actually actually shocked. Um Okay, how do you how do you reach out to your natural um, magic giver? Um, I scratch my nails against a nearby surface. Yes. Just... Yeah. And you just hear. I should I should call a cat in here to get that cat ASMR for real immersion. <laughs> um, with an eighteen on your cat wild magic table for the next, I guess it would be. Um, yeah, for the next day, you have no fall damage taken. <laughs> I shit you fucking <laughs> nice. this ta this table has fifty banes and fifty boons. I know because I wrote them all. There is there are like two fall related boons and my dead ass landed on one of them. I am actually... Oh my goodness. Hang on, is there actually <laughs> another full one? Um, I would have allowed that, actually. That is stupid, Nye. <laughs> that is... <laughs> okay, yeah, there's one... There's one other one. That would have proactively stopped you taking damage if you fell. That's ridiculous. Like, I, ca I can't with you. I can't with you. That <laughs> GG. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say take inspiration, but that in itself. Like, you could... For context, <laughs> you could literally jump off of the airship. Like, I'm not saying to do that. <laughs> yeah. But you could. <laughs> I would have to roll to injure the ground. <laughs> Wow. That's ridiculous. Jeez. That is special. <laughs> At bro. So I'm taking the top bunk. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Incredible, incredible footage. Oh my god. Okay. Um with that, you know what allure? You know what allure? That was, that was some good shit. Roll an arcana check for me an advantage. Okay. Everyone else can roll an arcana check, but just straight. <laughs> sure. Nope. Six. One, one, of, one of them straight. Same. One Eleven. Of them. Okay. Seventeen for me. Okay. Oh, so I thought you were going to roll another 18. <laughs> Aloro, you just hit the DC with your advantage. So GG. Again. <laughs> you see, like... Because there, there aren't particularly, at least at this point, uh, doors to the, <laughs> to the main cabin that you guys are in. There's... It's very airy. Um, and as you look out, 
uh, kind of over the views and got accustomed to your bunk, which you've got a nice good view of the, uh, of outside from your bunk from here. You see a slightly familiar... Not even see a slightly familiar sight, but you feel a somewhat familiar sensation. And before you can fully begin to put your finger on it, from the corner of your eye, just outside the doorway, you see a tail, little orange, tabby, floofy tail, Ooh. kind of curl, curled up like a little chameleon tail, and then unwind and curl around the door frame as if it's beckoning you outside. Ooh. Aluro is is very quick to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have music for this. Um, oh, I totally do. Do I? Do I? I. And I, to clarify, I, this is not this is not Finny. No. Okay. I I know we said goodbye. Yes. I just wanted to oh. double check because I did not remember the color of the cat. That's fine. It's fine. I found the music. This is the right one. <laughs> um, as you see the cat tail curl back around the door frame, you follow suit. Uh, roll a perception check for me, please. Or indeed Arcana. I will allow either. And you're doing a straight roll because this would otherwise be a disadvantage. Ooh, mystery. I don't need to tell you guys these things as a DM, but I like to add a little bit of spice, a little <laughs> bit of mystery, a little bit of intrigue. <laughs> I told you guys. Scheduled chaos. We fucking eat. <laughs> I got a 12. You see... You see little cat fangs, as if the rest of the cat is invisible. Just little little kitty smile, and then just <sighs> gone. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Laura's reaction so much. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy, man. <laughs> There's so much. Right, let me find... Let me find this. And then from behind you, further out on deck, you hear... And see little, almost, um, imprints of... Like purpley, sparkly imprints of paw prints. And the tail swooshes round and manifests this slightly taller than average lean um, ginger cat. <laughs> Licks its paw, rubs the back of its ear. Looks at you somewhat expectantly. What are you looking for, little one? Is it pets? And Aluro very <laughs> calmly, very slowly starts to attempt to pet this cat. Or the, um, the shape of the cat. <laughs> the cat fizzles out in a puff of glitter and reappears behind you. Same, similar tail curl up. <laughs> Roll either an animal handling or an insight check for me, please. 
at advantage because cat. I did specifically put a cat name for this cat's accent. <laughs> Even the meows have accents, you guys. We're getting deep to the lore here. I had a tutor that helped me with maths when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And she had a cat called Toffee, and it was like a real, like a real raggedy Siamese cat. Like it's it seen some shit, like chain smoker vibe. <laughs> and this cat would just sit on the work we were meant to do that day and just go, and the and the lady would be like, Toffee, come on, we need to do work now. <laughs> real stanky. <laughs> I love that cat. It was real angry. It was great. All right, what do we get? I got a six. Um, I would say you you know cats well enough to know that it's it, it's it's trying to communicate with you with its constant meowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, you're, you're, you're not impressing it. I so pick up what you're putting down, magical cat. <laughs> it is time for. Some speak with animals. Well, thank God I was wondering when you were gonna finally <laughs> cast that. Oh, heavens. Well, hello, dear. How are you doing? I'm doing splendidly, even more splendid having met you. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself, darling. You don't even know who I am yet. I, but you've got me horribly intrigued. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Sassy. My name, if you didn't already know, is Chrysanthemes. Ooh, <laughs> Chrysanthemes. <laughs> I was pretty chuffed. Oh god, I was pretty chuffed with Chrysantha, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, you might have noticed that I'm not a normal cat. I don't curdle the true. cream and all of that business. What is it that you care for? Mmm, what an ever so good question. But isn't it so obvious, my dear? No, it's not obvious. You and I are not so different. And they do a little hiss and appear behind you again. A little of sparkles and glitter. You see, kind of looking at their claws, we both know a certain someone who helps us out magically. Oh. Can you catch my drift? Yes, I do. Of course you do. You have cat-like agility. There's nothing you can't catch. Now, <laughs> I have a job for you. Seeing as you're heading somewhat near home. Yes. Oh, you are so eager. <laughs> you are fun, I do like you. I see why Mistress likes you so. Well, when you arrive, you should come by the shrine when you get the chance, you dig? Of course. Wonderful. We'll have more to discuss when we get there. But I think it's time for a little reunion. Maybe catch my draft. Sounds great. Wonderful. And what kind of cat, kitty cat meow, would I be if I didn't bring you a little gift? Hmm? A gift? Mm. You know, like those little pathetic house cats that bring their owner a little mouse or a Bird. Pathetic gifts, if you ask me. I have something rather more interesting. Would you like to see? Uh, yes, please. 
<laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, on behalf of myself and mistress, we do ever so much care for you, Aluro. Enjoy your present, and remember, you've got to flex that magic, eh? True. Just pops into glitter and bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Seemingly, nothing happens for about 10 seconds, 12 seconds. <laughs> you will begin to hear a significant wing beat head towards this ship. <laughs> oh! This strange, deep, guttural, siren-like call just... Guys, from I think... behind. I th yep, if you want to do something, do it now! It's time to go to the top of the ship! Time to go to the top of the ship! Let's go, guys! Hey, what is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> and... You all see, heading towards the ship, what can only be described as two ginormous honking geese. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Tune had a battle version. I was like, I can't not. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I'm not here to make empty promises of a stupid chaos time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was I was um, looking for flying monsters, and that came up, and I was like, well, know what I'm doing today? <laughs> doing a little ten minutes. Yeah, a little ten minute break. Go get some snacks. Go get mentally prepared for the fight that's about to occur. And, oh, um... Yeah. <laughs> players, we shall roll for initiative as soon as we're back! Oh, Alright. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a second. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hello. 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 Well. Welcome back to the honking. <laughs> <laughs> and us accidentally uh. making Dime laugh while he's eating lots of lots of food. <laughs> <laughs> we almost lost him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> S spank that friend's emote. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, where were we? Oh, yes! Everybody roll initiative! <laughs> so stupid. I was so hyped when I found this song. I was like, this is so perfect for geese. It's good. Mm hmm. Bravely Default 2, which I haven't played because I haven't finished mm -hmm. Bravely Default 1 because there's a lot Same. of. A lot of driving an orphan around and trying to get them to stay somewhere. <laughs> yep. Goose one. Goose. It's a tricky thing when they do that. Mm. Two behind. E. I haven't gotten the pills of eternity too either. E. E. Alright. What's everybody getting? Seventeen. Okay. Uh, 17. Beef. 17. Darkwing. 9. Who's next? You decide. I got an 18. Ooh. I got a 12. Still. Ooh. I got um, a rock. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Matt. Goose Matt. You're forgetting that reference now. I am so totally. I was already thinking it before you even said it. And so I was so glad when somebody said it out loud. I was like, oh, good. I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. It keeps trying to spoil my next songs for this chaos fight. I don't appreciate it. No. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright! We Make have got shot. Ludo first beef on deck. Maybe literally, because we're on an airship. Hello and welcome to Airship Airlines where we are fighting geese. That is all you need to know. Watch the VOD if, if you need you need to know more, but right now, geese. <laughs> So what would you like to do, Ludo? Ludo? Okay, so we are on the deck, and there are two giant geese approaching us. One either side of the ship for easy peasies. Okay. And they are approximately the same length of the ship. Oh, jeez. It is surprising, canonically, how large these geese are. But also, in my mind, again, I'm terrible at depth perception. I don't care. These geese are as big as the ship. But they are just like regular geese, but big, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh... shit, it's like a regular goose, but big, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Ludo's gonna head out, like, he's gonna hustle over to the left side of the ship, and he's going to raise his uh, meat tenderizer, and he casts spiritual weapon so that it's like a spectral meat tenderizer appears in the air by the giant geese's head and starts bonking him. Nice! Roll the bonk! Honk bonk. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that is a honk 24 bonk. to bonk. 24. It freaking <clears throat> hits, my guy. Four. Six damage. Hey, um... So, you are able to just about reach reach a bit of wing. Wing. Not, not, you know, I don't know what I say. You're able to reach a bit of wing. I just want to say, like, well, wang, you know? Um, <laughs> reach a bit of wang. Um, a little bit of wang. Um, yeah, strong arms. And you, you give, <laughs> you give the honk a bonk! Mm-hmm. I can't, I'm not very good at honk noises. I just, you just gotta sound like a chair being pulled against a wooden floor, I think, is the trick. I don't know, that one was pretty good. Which one is this? Is uh, it two, right? Everybody attack the goose to the left. So there's a goose to the left and there's a goose to the right. This is a goose to the left. Okay. 
Sweet. This is technically goose one. But we can also call it goose left and goose right. <laughs> <laughs> and goose. Goose. Two goose, yes. Geese, geese, goose. All right, that's it for Ludo. Okie doke. Be fun is next. Delora, you are on deck, kind of. <laughs> oh, let's try this for the third time. Let's go. <laughs> I am going to toss my caper into the one on the right. Okay. Roll the hit. And remember, level five. You get an extra hit now, buddy. Woo, let's go. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> you can double toss it. Toss a caber. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first are, one's are 24. Five? Are we? Hmm? I'm level five. Yeah, four. we're level five. Yep. Yeah, oh. we are. Uh, I'm going no, to we be leveled, leveled up. up right now. <laughs> we leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Please do. <laughs> we all got really excited, and then we're like, we're kind of tired. We'll do it another day. <laughs> <laughs> Half of us were around right now and just kind of woo. Now is the time to level up if you would like to. <laughs> now level five. So yeah, first one was 24, second one was seven. Uh, 24 hits. The seven unfortunately does not. All right. Damage uh. is 10. Ew. Wonka bonk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, just a right. good old, just a good old throw, a nice little catch, and then I hit and step out. Nice. <sighs> Bifon is gone. Nay, you are on deck, but first. I was, I thought the music was, it's Goose turn. <laughs> All right, so the left goose is going to look at its aguesso, which is Ludo. <gasps> oh my god. Do you need to the creature? No, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna... Oh my god, they make... Are you, are you sure this is already done? Damn. Now I have to, I have to nerf these guys a bit. <laughs> God damn. Um, bring it. Okay. Bring it. You want a woman to bring it, bro? You want, you want the geese to go full power on your ass? <laughs> well, that's an 18 to hit. Plus... Three? Let me double check that the plus 18 four. hits. Plus four. So that's a 22 to hit. Ooh, yeah, that and, hits. And a 15 to hit. Uh, 15 misses. And a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> On the third hit, it just wafts its wing down too far and just kind of veers off track. It has to bring itself back in with its movement. And just a little goose dance, wish you could see it. Um, so he's going to attack twice with the... Once with the beak and once with... Oh no, only one of those hits, so he's going to just beak, beak your ass. Um... 2d6. 2d6. Wow. Oh, I got two fives. That's nice. what we call the Honkai's. Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> 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 hate myself. Uh, that is 12 points of bludgeoning damage as uh, the beak just. <laughs> into, your, into your shoulder. With Good that noise, point. thank you, Lulu. Go have the zoomies. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. That's 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 all he can do on his turn. Alora, it is your turn, Tarquin. You are on deck. All right, we're gonna flame blade. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Let's go Fire. with the, the geese on the left. The goose on the left. Alright, Ludo Ludo and Alora are going for the goose on the left. <laughs> Alright. Everything you own in a goose on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Smack as I set him on fire. Right, roll the hit! <laughs> I'm making Wait, fire oops. noise. 
I accidentally ignore this roll. <laughs> I, I made will a do. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna be over here making fire noises. Cause it's fun. Who needs alcohol when you have sleep deprivation? Don't have either, preferably. <laughs> I have been alcohol right now, buddy. Fifteen to hit. Ew, fifteen hits. Roll for damage. Kill damage, you hit a goose. Six. <laughs> six damage is six damage. Uh, don't yep. make don't make me do the speech again, Nas. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Flashbacks. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just fiery, just singe the wing. Just <sniffs> amazing stuff. And if an else, or is that your turn? Um, I think that's my turn. Beautiful stuff. You set a goose on fire. Let's go. Dark Queen, it is your turn! And Luto, you are tentatively on deck. Gotcha. Alright, um, I think the best strategy will be to take one out and then focus on the second one. Mm. So I'm also going to attack the number one. Okay. And I can have two attacks per action, like yes. uh, Bifon. So, oh, yeah. let's start doing math. She gonna be crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll for hitting. That's gonna be a twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. And the second one is going to be uh, ten. A ten misses, unfortunately. Super close. All right. There. I'm gonna add the. Uh, I'm gonna use a key point to add two unarmed strikes to this. Ooh. So it's going to be. Uh, 18 to hit, I 18 guess. 18 hits, <laughs> yep. And the other one is going to be 21, it does hit again. Yep. <laughs> and now I'm gonna roll for damage. This goose is seeing its life flash before its eyes. Let's go 7. <laughs> I can't wait to hear Tarquin tell the tales of the two giant geese he fought. <laughs> and make it sound cool. <laughs> like, 22 oh, damage. 22 damage, god dang! Good shit. Just just wail on this bird and <laughs> just kind of punch its wing so its head gets closer to deck. Punch that out. <laughs> punch the wing again. <laughs> <That's>, ah! <laughs> Has to kind of refocus its flight again. Um, Its friend is a little bit sad. Oh, have you got anything, any other actions you would like to do? Or can I'll do? just uh, kind of comb my hair backwards and look good. <laughs> Easy done. Um, okay, on that note, we're gonna move to stage two of the boss fight music. <gasps> now he transforms and he becomes a dragon. <laughs> I wish. His goose number two on the right, I believe the one beef on was. You're the best key. <laughs> <laughs> Real ones know this, this tune! I, Real you, ones when you know! To that, when you switched to the boss theme, this was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Had to be Spicy Brass Squad, man. Yogg's the four Spicy Brass Squad. Ain't no song like it! <laughs> Let's go. Shit! Okay, um... <laughs> Goose number two on the right hand side is going to use its thunderous honk action. The goose honks with ear splitting volume. Each other creature within 30 feet of the goose, Jesus Christ, uh, must make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Oh so please, goodness. everybody, roll a constitution save for me, please! Nice! That's a success! Ooh, a 10. That is a fail! Oh my god. Eight. Eight? Yep. That is a fail, I'm afraid. 
The cat zoomies are hitting at the right time as well. <laughs> what have we got, Laura? <laughs> it's okay. Five. Mm. Mm. Got goose. So. Oh boy. Oh shit. Um. I'm gonna nerf that a bit because <laughs> stupid. Actually, how much damage would it be? Oops, I dropped my dice. Eh. That's. Ooh, I think everyone will survive that. <laughs> if you fail, you take. 20 honking damage. Dang. And are deafened until the start of the goose's next turn. Oosh. Goose honk pack a punch. Oh, Ludo is super hurt. It is, it is ouch time. Um, also, fun fact, the honk can be heard within 300 feet. <laughs> so, <laughs> just rings out just a... <laughs> Just across the vast space. Um, anyone who succeeded on the throw takes half as much. So only 10 damage if you succeeded. My goodness. And no right. one took the earplugs. <laughs> oh, you kidding me! Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know what, mate? He's got a fucking oh. point. Oh my god. <laughs> Ziggy's, Ziggy's hyped to this that's, fucking song. That's hilarious. <laughs> At this point, Umberlai is like, what in the ever love it? Oh my god, are they geese? <laughs> just kind of, <laughs> shit, <laughs> gets her, <laughs> she gets her shit out. Um, is everyone okay? Is everyone okay? Who's looking most injured? Uh, Ludo's at one hit point. Oh no. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um she's gonna cut she's gonna run over to Ludo slap his face and kiss him on the other cheek <laughs> and, <laughs> and cast healing word at second level. Oh my god, is this the first time I've used Oh no, I meant cure no, I don't ever take cure wounds. What am I, a fucking fiend? You enjoying your zoomies? I told you, it's a good song, Ziggy. Um, that is... Three... Four, seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven... That is eleven health points to you, my friend! Okay. We and do that. We can work with that. She... <gasps> oh, fuck. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Oh, boy. What do you think would happen if a goose who was flying became blinded? Probably. Would they start to stall? Like, <laughs> you know, no. higher, higher, low, higher, low, Aloro. Higher, low. low. That's low. Uh, <laughs> Umberlie is going to cast pyrotechnics. <laughs> On the uh, left, leftmost goose, and seeing right. that the concentrated force is happening on it. Yeah, you tell him, Ziggy. Um, and the goose is gonna make a Constitution save of fourteen, or be blinded. And in my mind, that means stalling. That <laughs> is a thirteen. One away. Um, you see. Just a, like, as she reaches her hand out, just ping, ping, ping. And of course, those who are deafened are just like, oh, it's a beautiful silent firework show. <laughs> just, <it's, laughs> but beef on, you hear the ping, psh, psh, of all these little colorful fireworks flashing in this goose eyes and <laughs> just starts <laughs> soaring downwards. Um, so any attacks from above... Uh, will have to be ranged, but they will get advantage. A. Hey. Uh, she helped, kind of. Ludo, speaking of, it's your turn. Um, 
It was really weird. She slapped you and there was no sound. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the one goose is now missing. It's like flailing behind. Um, he's, he's kind of still flying alongside the ship. He's kind of like 10 foot lower than he was before. So, and I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, literally nothing by this. Do not take this as sublim not subliminal messaging. He's kind of at a level where it would be really easy to jump on his back. I'm not saying to do that. No. Okay. I'm not saying to do that because a fall in the it. ocean do it. would be such do death. <laughs> <laughs> but he would be at the perfect height for that. Um, uh, all right. Uh, okay, so what Ludo will do is he's going to bonk it with his spiritual weapon. His nice! Fly it over. Yeah. is going to fly down and <laughs> bonk for 17. 17 hits. And that does 7 damage. Nice! Foie gras, more like foie bra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't let me carry on, please. Then he's going to cast a guiding <gasps> bolt on it. Ooh! All fleet hits. Now, Ooh. it's probably already crossed... Ludo's mind. This is a giant goose. <laughs> right. This is a giant goose. Goose monster. But goose also goose. And goose big. Goose delicious. Goose delicious. No one goose body to go to waste. He's blinded, so I get advantage, right? Yeah. Okay. There is a height advantage, yeah. First roll is a 12, second roll is a 10. Womp womp. Do they do no. those hit? They miss, unfortunately. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm realizing you're now. Girl, where's your freaking... Have you got the thing that you can do that helps? Uh, reaction. No, never mind. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Come on, Ember, never mind. <laughs> uh, that is it for Ludo. All right, Bifon, it is your turn. Um, followed by Tentative Aloro on deck. Aloro on deck. You were all conscious Luto might want to eat this big goose. Just yes. putting that out there. Do it that Very way. Will. It is a jump on back height. Make of that what you will. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> is a flame blade on deck unless you'd like it raw? It's <laughs> fucking it raw! Say. Hey. I will materialize out of hidden step behind the right one and slap him in the head twice. First roll. Nice. Is it 13? Is that hit? 13 is the DC. It's a hit. So yeah, it does. Right, How? One Kapow! hits. Sorry, I was meant to do it to the music. Second one is an 18. Seven, 18 hits as well. Kapow! All Roll right. damage. Roll yeah. for damage. First one is an 8. Nice. Nice. Second one is a 6. Wee. So it's a nice back and forth. It's a nice, bonk. Nice, nice. Bonk. And then I spin around and do an <laughs> inspirational po pose and <gasps> point to Tarquin. Let's go! <laughs> so, so is, that is it's your feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is my feet. I roll a D8 on one solo player, which awards Tarquin four inspiration. Nice. That is your bonus. And it also makes his cape billow. Yes. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm... Yeah, so, so you can add four. One. You can add four <laughs> to your next roll. Oh, nice. Yeah, within within. I think it's like a couple of hours or something. I don't know. It don't matter. We find geese. Amazing. We're finding so many fun feats today. This is why we like to fuck around and do dumb feats because it's so magical. You've got a spicy brass squad with the boys fighting geese like. It's heaven, you know? How can I resist a JoJo pose? How can I resist? <laughs> to Spicy Brass Squad! Of all songs! Ugh. Just, Ugh! just get nasty on this goose right now. And that is my turn. <laughs> get nasty on this goose! Right You fucking now. better! You fucking... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the, the 
pillows and duvets you could make out of this big goose. Um, right. <laughs> okay. Aloro, it Sleeping is on your... the corpse tonight. Aloro, it is your turn on deck, but first it is blinded goose. Um, he's gonna try and, I don't know, <laughs> find his way to not stall as much. He... Hmm. So, we're agreed on what the ideal circumstances here are, right? Because <laughs> this fucker just got a natural one. Ooh. So, this goose is gonna try and readjust in an upward direction, oversteer it, and then kind of be hovering, if not slightly, like a duck trying to land on a pond. Like, cycle <laughs> legs in. It's just going to be kind of treadmilling it on the ship. <laughs> like, at the sit, it's, it's fucking nuts. Tr trust the image. It, that image in your head, it's stupid, but it's true. It's, it's, it's the vibe. Um, and because of that, he's only going to get one attack. Which is going to be a wing smack. Which hits, but who's he going to aim for? I don't know, that guy's doing a pretty cool JoJo pose. He can't also see, though, so I'm going to leave it up to luck. Um, right, going in order. One, two, three, four. Five is Umberlai. Six is... Well, Luke is napping, so... Whee! Uh-oh! Ah, there is a guy doing a really cool pose! It's going to hit Bifon. Bifon does a 17 hit! Yes, it does. Shit! Um, I'm going to roll for time. Oh, I only rolled a four. So that's six bludgeoning damage. Alright. From just wing. It, it like for a second the billow of wind just like improves your pose. And then it's like suddenly too much feather. <laughs> it's just like ah, <laughs> Hey! But then it's just like you've got the gentle feather effects like in anime. <laughs> <laughs> the pose and it's just feathers going in the background. I just strike, strike three more poses is what I do. <laughs> hey. How dare you hit me with your wing? <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! Okay. Wonderful stuff. Okay, Aloro. And with that, it is your turn. There is a goose literally on deck. Tarquin, it is your turn. So you are on deck. <laughs> And there is a goose on the right side of the ship that is not on the deck. But it is on deck after Targ. <laughs> D&D jargon, everybody. Oh my god. Wait, so... Yes, it's your turn. Yeah. Okay, alright. You said both of us are yeah. on so I was like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so much! So much goose! So much cool. All right. Um, we're gonna do flame blade again. Nice on the on the deck deck goose. <laughs> on the uh, yeah, the goose that is flailing around right now. <laughs> Does a twelve hit? Not quite. Not quite. Very okay. close. Do I... Wait, so... no, it's blinded. You have advantage. It's blinded. You have advantage. My apologies. Do it. Oh, it's actually 15. Yeah. Never yes, mind. it hits. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> <It's goose. laughs> now, okay, is do I have two attacks? Is that a thing that is true for every character when they hit level five or no? You know, no, this we should message Wizards of the Coast because it really fucking should be, right? Like, it really should. But the pain of spellcasting is you get one thing. Mm. <laughs> a bonus action if you are blessed by Jesus himself. Unfortunately, it's only the one hit. It is, okay. it is, a, mon it is a monk and fighter thing specifically, unfortunately. And yes, it, it is pain. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> it could be worse. You could be a warlock. <laughs> Warlock's very cool, but in terms of actions, it's kind of... You're just like, ah, that's it. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, at least with sorcery, you can do like meta magic and everything. 
Wizards, you can be like, oh, I've learned this spell now. But. <laughs> Warlock, it's just like, my dad hates me and I can do a shit spell and that's it. <laughs> Eldritch Blast, probably. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please roll for damage. Yes, it is eight. Eight damage. Eight. Wonderful, this goose is looking real hurt and slightly toasty and crispy. Ay. Wonderful stuff. Tarquin, it is your turn. Ludo, you are on deck. Alright, so this uh, okay. number one is about to die. It's close, it's getting close. It's blind, so is flailing. <laughs> it's on, yeah, the, pretty much on the deck. <laughs> I guess I could... Probably the best thing to do would, would be to attack the other one because I can hit pretty hard. And I mean, here's here's the thing. I mean, if the guy has one HP and I put down twenty five damage, it's going to be kind of a waste. Is he's not quite that dead? And I will say, there is the top of the um, kind of cabin, living captain's quarters cabin, and. Mm -hmm. It is still possible to get height advantage on him. The benefit now being that he is on the deck, so the likelihood of falling to your death is significantly reduced. And you will have advantage. Now, I'm not saying that you have to, but you have expressed interest and I am here to enable you guys. I would love to do all the acrobatics and whoopies ass in the middle. Hell so. yes. I will absolutely fucking allow it. <laughs> <laughs> With 30 All feet right. of With 40 that feet of movement, I gave you. <laughs> Yeah, you can easily scramble your way to the top of the deck. I'm and, gonna uh, elbow drop him. Yes! <laughs> this is what we like to hear. <laughs> See, other DMs would be like, mm, I don't think that's technically in the guide. I'm like, nah, I don't. There's no wrestling in your elbow campaign? Drop, I'm out of here. Elbow drop the goddamn goose. <laughs> like, what, what? It's my new, my new, like, inspirational poster. Let a fucker. Elbow drop a goddamn goose. It actually happens, so let's there do it. Go. There you go. All right, I'm gonna roll for hit. Yes. Nice. At advantage, and then you've got the plus four as well, should you need. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna re-roll an attack. The first one is 14, and I put the plus four so it's 18 and the other yeah. one is 11 and I'm gonna re-roll it okay okay and that is uh, 19 so both hit both absolutely hit let's go and of course unarmed strikes because why not mm, have to at this point <laughs> uh, that's a 12 does it hit a 12 unfortunately doesn't quite hit all right then the second one is going to be 22. 22 hits, yay. <laughs> Alright, so 3 out of 4. That's good. 11 plus 12, thir 23 plus 10, 33 Jesus. damage. How would you like to prepare this goose for yeah. its inevitable cooking? <laughs> 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 Alright, so after... down this goose, please. Elbow drop first, that's the first hit that lands. Then a couple of hits in the head, and if I can, I would like to snap his neck. Oh. So. Hell yeah. We got to make sure it's ready. Oh, so then, you know, you can, yeah, I will make it like, we can reuse the meat later. Just <laughs> giant bone cracks. Yeah. So that goose's name was, um, was Goob. Goob. <laughs> Goob! <laughs> Goob the goose. Goob will be delicious. <laughs> we will honor you, Goob. Um, is that your turn? And that's it. <laughs> okay, on that note, uh, goose number two is not having any of that. Not doing that. Mm -mm. Not hired to do that shit. And he's gonna... <sighs> and begin to fly away because does not want a part of that. Uh, Beefon, you will get an attack of opportunity should you so wish. Mm. 
I I could just hit it, right? That's about it. Yep. Alright. Hit it for seven. Nice. Just give it a little ass smack on the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, crikey, what the hell was that, man? That was crazy! Ah, good job! <laughs> that is a big goose! <laughs> Parker, um, that was amazing, huh? We're gonna eat good tonight! <laughs> we got plenty of food for the rest of the travel, I think. <laughs> uh, as the rest of the team sets about, um... Uh... I guess, deconstructing a uh, goob. Uh, Laura, you do see a tiny flake of an orange tail and a little kitty grin and just echoing around you just <laughs> <laughs> and that <laughs> I think that's where we've got to leave it today. <laughs> I don't think we're in beaten. Pluto, <laughs> make sure to clean out we're... the fridge first. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it is. I think, yeah, we need Luda. to clean it. I think it's empty, but... <laughs> Luda will climb Holy. into the fridge and clean it out from the inside out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, this dear. big old chunk of leg sticking out, waddle like, like kicking <laughs> while he's like in there scrubbing it down. Oh my god! Who and the rest of the schedule chaos? We'll just have to wait until next week. That's a good start. That music and that fucking oh, I was in nice. all of it. it was some slapstick. <laughs> You know, if you'd asked me a few days ago what the plot of today was going to be, I'd be like, I'm not sure. It's going to be like they're going to Minute, like, going to meet the crew of the airship, and then, like, this and that and this Bonkers. and that. And then it was like, yeah. Probably fights a giant not geese. Giant geese. The air. That was a last minute thing. <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you believe? I was just like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Speaking of, Aluro, please roll for me. One last Arcana check. Mm. Straight on the rocks. Will do. Like the classic. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no <laughs> whammy. <laughs> eh. <laughs> <laughs> got, got an eight. Roll an advantage. <laughs> roll an advantage, um, ro roll again. Yes. And <laughs> take the higher. It is, it is catch related. Oh my god. My tummy hurts from laughing. Oh no! <laughs> no oh. way! Seven, seven's the higher one! <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been rolling low all this, day. There's, there's some, there's something. There's something weird about all this magic stuff, man. Yep. There was like the weird feeling, and then there was the cat, and then there was the geese and stuff. And I was like, mm, I ain't adding up. No sorry. But that's as far as we get today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yes. And, for, and next time, we're going to finish our finish our time on the ship. Um, which might be slightly slower now. We have a ginormous goose on board. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I didn't even think about eating it until halfway through the fight. I was like, oh shit. I'm gonna eat goob so bad. <laughs> <laughs> my poor goob. Oh my Luckily, god. Luckily we have a trans-dimensional fridge to hold all that. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Um, you could sell it for a pretty penny as well. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm not saying you have to just mm. <laughs> Now the ghost noises are coming out, fuck's sake. <laughs>
you sit there until every last <laughs> bite is done. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a goose revenge plot? Will we ever get to Ninut with our sanity in check? <laughs> Will we be able sanity? to... <laughs> I have mm -mm. I have a good, very good friend and we have played a campaign where sanity is a stat and it's something we roll for and mm. it's very bad if you run out <laughs> I would know I've run out of sanity twice <laughs> it's not good it's, it's like yeah it's, 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 it's great actually super super spooky campaign uh, shout out to my friend. My friend Mango. Make very scary. Holy moly. I have a big smile on my face. Chat, do you have a big smile on your face right now? Woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there I was worrying in the kitchen about the about the pacing of the episode once again. I was like, is there enough content? Are they going to get to Ninut and I'm going to run out of things for them to do? And it turns out... No. Within the first five minutes of the stream, there was some chaos. There was some shenanigans. There was some perfumery, and I knew that that moment I knew for sure, sure as my shoelaces were tied, that there would be time. Oh, there would be time. Don't, don't even, even you were in I had to L.A. Noir you. I... No, it was great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the cat came out way more, um, Eartha Kit than I intended it to as well. <laughs> but I was here for it. <laughs> as it should. Right? I put more, like, Janice from Friends, so I was kind of glad that it came out differently. I was like, no, nah, feel this feels better. <laughs> this, this is better. But as for the order, we're gonna have to wait till next week because we've not met everyone yet. Oh. So, but I mean, we have met a fair decent few new people. We met the captain <laughs> and their uh, very interesting crew. We met the cool cat. Brought some food for its friend. <laughs> it's like that's the most cat thing a cat could do. It's like I bring you a gift and it's just living creatures that are actually kind of a nuisance. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, please do go and check out our wonderful players. Starring once again, Dowdy and Audio as Tarquin. Time package as before. <laughs> Nine. I was about to say nine package then. Nine as <laughs> and Laura, and of course JC of Zluto, hey. who is no longer hallucinating. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys, you guys, that's gonna crank me up every time. <laughs> you better not. Just imagine big pouty lips. Mm -mm. No, I, I can hear it. It's stupid. I hate Eyes it. closed. It's working. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's about the face mm -mm. I saw. <laughs> Key, thank you so much for running. This was a great session. Mm -hmm. Dang, I'm just always going to run away. <laughs> keep on running. <laughs> and we will hopefully be back next week. Yeah, more. thank you all for being here. Woo! Interesting, because there'll be other people in the house next week, so oh. I'll have to not make too much of an ass of myself. You mean NPCs? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do love it up here with the cats and everything. But for my setup next week, I will be in a room without a door, so that'll be interesting. Which sounds Good like luck. I've been, I've been bad. I don't quines and they take my door away from me. It's just because it's the attic and there's literally no door, so just, just stairs. <laughs> Beef on the stairs. <laughs> Ghost oh? on the stairs. <laughs> oh no! Oh god. Yeah, you need to tell Nye later about that. <laughs> <laughs> stairs ghost. 
Okay, dokey. We're gonna close Thank it up. Thank you, Fwing, so much. And until next time, look after yourselves. Keep an eye out for any really big geese. And as always. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.